Always on. Okay. Oh, we're covering his head. I forgot. <laughs> just some just body time. That's <laughs> what you do. Um, it's really sums up my career. What's up, chat? Hello, hello. Welcome to what is actually going to be absolute chaos, but what we're going to try to make as least chaotic as possible um, for your benefit and our sanity. Um, I'm here with, you know, I don't know, a whole bunch of amazing actors. <laughs> Just literally the cast of the village and Jeff's floating head. <laughs> I mean, Jesse and Neil's floating head. Um, we're awaiting Jesse and Neil, who haven't showed, and a, and a couple others. Um, I mean, I feel like everyone here probably knows who's who, but like, if you want to just go around, would you, would you, would you start us out? Hi, everybody. I play Angie and Evelyn in Resident Evil Village. I'm Paula Rose. Ah, hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Coates, um, and I play Louisa in, in a scary doll, and I was Marguerite Baker in Resident Evil 7. Bye, I'm Hey, guys. Katie O'Hagan, Mia Winters, Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil Village. You know, well, Andy Norris. Jeff Shine, I'm uh, Carlos Oliveira from Resident Evil 3, and uh, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil Village. And hey, I'm Nicole. If you're here, I, I hope you know who I am. <laughs> I'm Nicole. I play Jill Valentine in RE3, and um, Elena and Daniela Dimitrescu in Resident Evil Village. And I'm so honored to be here with you guys. Um, as you know, chat's going to be a little bit much for us. The other person that we have as kind of our silent, sometimes not so silent hero, hero. is Jen Von Lee, favorite mod. Jen, say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so that's our, that's our amazing Jen. She, a moderator here and also just her here. She is going to be your favorite person because Jen will be running how the giveaways work today. We will be announcing um, the winners as we go along. We're going to kind of take t turns. There's so many of us. People are going to go outside, eat pizza, come in, hang out, chat with you guys. Um, and it's going to be a blast. So um, hang in there. Uh, I know for a fact we did want to start out with the giveaway just like right up at the front. We basically have, is it 20? We have 20 We have 20 codes from Capcom and one giant collector's edition that we will be giving away at the end. So sorry if, you are in the, if you're in the UK or anywhere else. It's just the middle of the night. Um, welcome. Gotta burn it. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, and then Jen will also try with all of the other balls that she's juggling to toss us maybe a couple questions from the from the questions requests, but just know we see you, we love you. Chat is here, so anyone sitting here can take a look at what's going on. But you guys are moving really, really fast, so no promise. If we don't see you, we still love you. That's it. That's that's all I have to say about that. Should we pick it up? I think we should pick it up. So um. Uh, policies for entering our very first giveaway, if you're ready, we're going to do some codes. Jen, are you ready? I am. <laughs> she sounds so ready. Um, team, so to enter, step one, make sure you're following everyone on the big list. Twitter, Instagram, do your thing. Step two, you have, how long do they have, Jen? Uh, I'm going to get about a minute. You have one minute. One minute. One minute to type in only once, write, write this word only once, and it's just for the, this first giveaway. Our code word is rose. So you're going to type in rose, and has the minute started, Jen, or are we going to, like, start the minute? We'll give them a second. Uh, <laughs> just, just go. Stop. Okay, the minute has started. Rose. <laughs> type in rose. Oh my god, wow, our chat is flooded with sisters. Everyone really likes rosé. <laughs> <laughs> Super into it. 
Um, 30 yeah. seconds. Great, right, so that was, that was our minute of growth. Good job, everyone. This is lovely. Nice. Oh, okay. good. So thank you, Capcom, for giving us these two gifts to all of you. They have loved how much we love the game as well. <laughs> they really have, and we are so indebted and grateful. Um, Jan, how's our minute going? I know minutes are longer than seconds. they should be. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to start rolling winners now, so we're doing five, yeah? Yeah, we're doing Four. five winners Three. for oh. this first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have our first winner. Paula, you want to do the honor? The first winner of one of our digital avatar codes is Atelier 5. A-T-Y-L-E-R 5. A-T-Y-L-E-R 5. I realized I probably should have said this so everyone's one is not like, but how do I get it? Um, Jen's got you. Calm. Everyone calm. You will get your code. We're gonna get your content. We're gonna get everything. Jen's got this. Hey Jeff Shine, you wanna announce the second one? Just so yeah. you are here. Do you see it? It's a little hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to make sure I could pronounce it. <laughs> it's more like what it is. Um, okay, so the second winner is a uh, manga Lin anime. Manga. <laughs> Do we have a manga Lin anime in the building? Manga Lin anime. Um, audio cutting. Manga. Audio's cutting out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did, 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 did the name come through okay or no? I think so. Manga Lin anime. I've reset it. Just yeah, like Manga Lin anime. I'll turn this up just a little bit. See if that helps. Uh, I'm gonna turn you up a little bit, Jeff, too. Ah, oh, tech. So much fun. Oh my god. Welcome to a party. Maggie literally just rolled up with a mask and like a whole bunch of junk food and was like, let's go! <laughs> Dropped in. Dropped in. Was like, we're live. Pizzas. And she um, has hands. Yeah. Oh yeah. Todd Soli's here, everyone. Hi. Hi. Just a hand. <laughs> um, yeah, he's on fingers. All right, Sarah Coates, we have, we have a third winner. Oh, I wish she'd Would you? Yes, can you see it? The third winner is so underscore R34. Yes. <laughs> Congrats, so. <laughs> Two more for this Nine. session. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you know, this is you. We already have one? Yeah, oh yeah, right here. Okay. <laughs> how, how would we say that? Yeah, you know, thank you. you can spell it if you want. All right, we're going to go with Jane Twig. Woo! T-A-I-N Twig. Who, yes. who, you know you're here. Congrats. Come on. <laughs> You get some. Wow. I'm also yeah. realizing Dang. that Jen is putting it in chat because I said it wrong. If you won, please whisper Jen. That's actually how she gets your information. <laughs> Make sure you whisper Jen on Twitch. Good luck. Or else everyone will know where you live. Yeah, exactly. You want to do it? You, you yeah, pop your head. Friend, friend, friend. See it right there? It's a cute, it's a cute name, too. Unlimitless. So if you have no limit on fun, you won. You won. <laughs> okay. That is your first five That's winners. And with that, let's kick yeah. this party up. Yeah, let's do it. Who wants to moderate? I'm going to need a tea. Can someone else get in here? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let me get that right in front of it. Tell them who you are. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. It's Brendan. Hi. Brad. Hi. 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 So she'll be picking out questions for you guys Excellent. for us and putting them over here in theory. Oh, that was a lot Excellent. of light right there, huh? That's the pocket. Are you guys live? We are. We are. There is me. We are. Wait, hold on, Neil. No one can see you, but I got you. Yeah. I got you. I'm just stay there. I'm like happy here. People are so nice. <laughs> Um, you just hang in a second there. Uh, Heisenberg has entered the chat. I, I, I got this guy's just leave. Again, bring us this body oh, therapy for... That's what I do. Yes. Oh, Jeff. Okay. 
I'm just making it happen. Six hours you, Sunday. Is this, where, is this where you want us to start weeping for you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yes, you want I just want to put more people in no, front I, of I, your face. It just feels how it feels as it should be. You should just be should the body. Should we make them larger? They're so small. <laughs> <laughs> but like, look how, to? look from this way, look up, yeah. because we're going to add Jesse on top. We'll add Jesse and then we've got, yeah. I mean, we can make them bigger. You want them yeah, bigger? No, it's fine. Neil, we're going to make you bigger. <laughs> but, then, but then they take yeah. out this whole section. It's lovely. We are so yeah. live, yeah. Neil. It's yeah. all you. Why are, Why are we hey, Neil, we'll make you bigger? I haven't noticed myself. It's too cool. Hey, them, my brother. Hey, them. That accent, it's just hard to resist. I'm getting tea. I love you. You're no, all on. Bless you for that. Some tea. <laughs> How'd it go? So yes, Neil I just got off a epic signing six hours, you said? Good. Yeah, it was something ridiculous like that. Yeah, it was wonderful. Very, very, very touching, very overwhelming. Um, but even though I'm absolutely back. shattered, I back can't back. wait to see my RE uh, village family. So I'm still plugging away to want to hang out with you all. Oh my gosh, the dedication is wild. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, much later in England right now, so yeah, it's about it's a good it's a good yeah. two fifteen a.m. over here. Oh, that's that. perfect. perfect. Are you in it for the long haul then? I'm in for the long haul. This is true. Yeah, but I, mean, I haven't seen um, Jeff and Nicole for a little minute, and I haven't physically been able to hug them yet for some oh. time, so I couldn't say. Do you have any plans really... to be back over the sea soon? Have any what? Sorry. Any plans to be back on the side of the pond? Yeah, I'm supposed to be towards the end of the year, um, if our governments allow each other to do that. that stuff, so. you, would we have to pay an import yeah, fee for on. you? Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we have, the entire, we have the entire Dimitrescu family here now. Put me in front, okay, right? You are quickly oh, coming no. in, so everyone over there on chat, I'll give you the quick Hello, one. chat. Oh. Chat's happening there on the right. Okay. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> Right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Squad. All right. You look great too. Oh no, it's fine. Go dye my hair in the back. Oh, it's always nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so back, we just did one. We did our first giveaway. Oh, sorry, God, I'm gonna come here. We, we did our first giveaway, which is very fun. That happens down here in this corner. Okay. You'll see it again at, at seven, which is when we'll do our All next right. one. Okay. You'll be part of that. Uh, Neil, what you're time you're Seven. I don't know what time that um, is for it's you. It's shortly after six 40, now, 40 so probably only like 40 minutes. What time, oh, what time is it where you I'm guys are? Girls, I'm going to let the girls in Neo feel some of this stuff. I'm going to take five. I'll be okay, right. we'll see you in a second. Yeah. All right, brother. We have Good our first stuff, question. Yeah. So we actually have an amazing question from our moderator. We have, do you have any guidance for the voices or did you have creative freedom with it? This is from Manya Mitchell. Yeah, did you guys uh, have my character? Mm, sure, all of us. Yeah, yeah go, for go for it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, do you want to go ahead and I'll, I'll fully? No, you sound like you, you have an answer, so I'm going to let you try while we craft ours. No, I'm you just, spoke I'm up just quickly, so you're on it. brain to keep up with the words of hey, English that everybody's talking about. Neil, the, the other thing I just want to encourage you, because I know you just came from a crazy live sighting. Um, yeah. If you want to walk away and come back, just like Jeff, this is a party. We're yeah. all going to, we're going to trade in and out. <laughs> Go get something to drink, because we're trying to keep it no, at least chaotic in the pond some more. Yeah, yeah, she, no, I just did that, actually. So if I get up again, I may collapse and not come back to the chair. I'm okay. to the chair. What time is it where you are right yeah. now? Just stay in the chair. It's like 2.30. Uh, Thanks, uh, What's up? Of the night. Okay, I see you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you answer that question. Okay, well, well you should answer Manya Mitchell's Thanks. question of, did we have any guidance for the yeah. voices, or did we have freedom with it? Mm -hmm. um, sorry, um, one more time, because I didn't quite touch oh. them at the time. Did you have any guidance for the voices, or did we have creative freedom with them? Oh, right, okay. So, um, the, the the initial thing, when I um, came across, when I was um, asked to audition for Heisenberg, I had one note, which was obviously the character breakdown and the detail of the character, but the only note I had in terms of voice was uh, transatlantic. Ah. That was the only note. So, I didn't read, there was probably some other notes about his demeanor and manner and that kind of stuff. But to be honest with you, it was sort of like, it was really about the character. And they were quite detailed about how they saw this person. My vision of him was very different to how he actually ended up looking, which is great, because actually it's better that way. Um, but a lot of the stuff, like the choices I made with the, the references I, I made from Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart, I even looked at Nicolas Cage. 
uh, which people I that saw that. actually yeah, would that. spot that, but they did. And just sort of throwing it all together to create what Heisenberg would sound like. And also the sort of duality between his, his sort of like mechanical cog against metal type voice when he's quite guttural and he's quite angry or motivated. The when he's sort of like being quite loose and, you know, he's sort of like, you know, hanging out with the family and finding their destruction. <laughs> Things like that. So I had a lot of fun with that. And actually, the, the sort of note from Steve or Capcom was, yeah, we yeah, like that. Steve's so amazing. go with that kind of thing. I would say. So, yeah, I have quite a lot of freedom. I mean, for, for most actors, when we come in, we're making a choice. We're bringing some choice to the table. And then yeah. uh, the director hopefully works with you to to guide a little bit and say, like, a little more this, a little less this, to guide it and yeah. get it um, the nail on the head. So creative freedom, yes, initially. And then you kind of let good, them good point. Uh, laser target you. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I've worked with Steve quite a few times. So I, Steve and I have no ego with each other when we work, which is great. But Steve um, usually comes up to me, and if he doesn't like something, he just goes, um, the thing you did, don't do that. I love that you said Jimmy Stewart and Cary Grant, though, because I grew up with my mom watching like old American movie classics. And so yeah. now that you say that, I can I totally can see it. it. I didn't get it because you, you did a hodgepodge of them and then your own. Yeah. And so I didn't even yeah. realize until you said that. I'm like, oh, I can see how it inspired you. Yeah, yeah. That's and then, yeah. I, I, I think when I say transatlantic, my mind, I always like to look at real world people, and it just happens to actors but um but Cary Grant was interesting because the poise the guy had mm -hmm. and also the kind of casualness he brought to everything like he was always like weirdly relaxed yeah <laughs> even like when he's in North yeah. Northwest when he's like when he's in danger he's got this like sort of casual <laughs> like running away from the plane <laughs> you know, he looks cool at all times like, it's just like weird yeah I like that a lot all times he's upscale cool sure. and put together how about you? We got, to, we got to audition together and yes, yes. mixed and match the sisters, which was really fun. Yeah, that's super that's fun. really cool. Um, that's nice. Well, it's interesting because I'm used to doing, I never, ever, ever get to do my own voice. Like, for I've lived in animation for a while, and they're always like, yeah. okay, now you're going to be like a four year old girl, now you're going to be a 10 year old girl, now you're going to be an old hag, and now you're going to be a fairy. Yeah, it we did for a Yeah, we did for a um, and so, yeah, I was a little, I was a little Cheshire, I was Kitty Cheshire, the daughter of Cheshire, Cat, yeah, and you Rosa were. Bella Beauty. The daughter of Beauty and the Beast. And she's the just beast. beautiful, nice. and so they're just like, well, yeah. she like, boy, and she's epic. I like <laughs> and Maya was like a kitty cat. Well, she was a human, but she had like, you know, purple hair and a tail, and yeah. Uh, yeah, she's adorable. She's very mischievous, and so I'm used to doing, your voice of Kitty Cheshire is very different than, you know. <laughs> but for mine, I'm like, well, so what do you want me to do? Do you want me to be like, witchy and like, and like no no we actually we like your voice just be your sensual That's self cool. like my oh, sensual yeah, yeah. self be your, you say sensual self my sensual self just be right. self right. back up the sensual self might be a step too far <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we were going you know x-rated or whatever different games yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was what you're doing next week neil not not <laughs> Um, so it was fun. I got to actually, you know, just, you know, obviously a little more animated than I normally, like, I'm kind of animated, I guess, in real life, but even more animated right. with, with Bela. <laughs> but um, I got to bring some of me to it, which is super fun. That's true. That's cool. That's nice. And then, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with all the, all the characters we play, that no matter how, no matter how much we break our habits and do what we want to do and everything, we're still bringing elements of ourselves mm -hmm. to it. So I'll take on that character and... Uh, we, we're obviously working with the director and the and the, the team and the writers and everything. It's still it's our point of view. Absolutely. So you, yeah, you can't escape that. But it's cool. I like I, I really I like the fact when we get I mean, Steve is a very good actor. He's a great actor he director. He likes it's actors. Which is important for <laughs> So the fact that they let us all play. I remember him like watch I remember watching him watching you, Paula, in your stuff as well. And I know I know Steve really from, oh my God. Now, I'm very <laughs> Yeah, but I'm also, but you're really the character that gets pulled back. You know, like, you know? I know when he likes, like he really digs something. He's like, yeah. He's just, he's just got little subtleties that I think, yeah, okay, he's really digging that. So it's like, nice to kind of. He was like, just go as far as you want, and I'll pull you back. And then they kept being like, yeah, get more. <laughs> Did they ever pull you back? I think maybe once in the voiceover booth, and they were like, that's scary. Yeah. That's just. Well, that kind of works, though, but right? I, I think I made it more like beastie, growly oh. thing, and then okay. I just like, pinch a cute. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a little like <laughs> little like garnish with you. I can't get through all. He was he was fantastic to work with. I really enjoyed that. Every audition yeah. is so 
drastically different. It was so different from my experience auditioning for seven <laughs> that it was just a, a joy <laughs> style thing. I mean, I literally had a baby two weeks before when I auditioned oh, for seriously? seven. Seriously? I got the call on the hospital. Oh, wow. In the hospital bed? I thought it was my aunt calling. I took it and I was like, hi. And they're like, oh, hi. I just want to see if you could come in for this audition for a game, which at the time. No, and I was like, oh, wait, when? And they were like, oh, tomorrow. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> I did. And they were lovely, you know, oh, I guess you're walking, but you're fine. I was it wasn't a surgery, so I was I could have probably done it, but um yeah, yeah. but I was a little ambitious. And it's I was a lot. like, it's uh a lot. lady. Yeah. Um but they were all parents, the producers were amazing and they were like, Congratulations, take two weeks. And we definitely brought my newborn to the bomb. Like my husband's just holding him as I'm saying the first of ever his Oh, you it. oh it was amazing. That's really cool. <laughs> It was all the suits, so it was all kept on there, like watching me just kind of theater in the rounds. And I was like, okay, which is always fun. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> it was so I like that. No, I, I kind of, that's what I love so much about performance yeah. capture. I love doing voiceover as well, but performance capture is theater all around theater. and film. Yeah, it's a wide and a close up simultaneously. You're always working, you're always on, unless you literally leave a volume that you can constantly keep working, you're doing something. For me, it's a real pure, pure form of acting. Oh, um, yeah. I've done everything from theatre to film TV and stuff. So for me, yeah, it was like yes. the best of both worlds smashed together in a very new technique. Ooh. And I love it. I mean, I adore Good. it. It's my favourite way of working. I see another question coming through from Jericho Plays. They would like Yo. to know, um, what is your warm-up routine or ritual before you start a recording session or a shoot? Thank you for all the great performances. Oh, warm-up or ritual? I actually want you to answer yeah. this, Camille, because I saw one of your interviews mm. and I heard the sounds mm. that you do, and I think they bear repeating. <laughs> no, that, that was, I, I have um, warm up rituals. I have things that drop me into character specific to that character. Oh. So there, I did a Plant the Apes thing uh, with Steve. So I met Steve, we did Plant the Apes together. And uh, my character is called Brynn. I played like 20 different humans and also the, the lead ape. Man. And I dropped into that character by doing hoots, hollers, and whispers, and uh, sorry, um, hoots, hollers, and barks. And I don't know if you can do this. I might wake my neighbors up, but it's something along the lines of. Join, join, join. Like that, or something like that. And so it's pretty good. Yeah. That's like what it's too. And Katie. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we answering this question? Oh, sure. What's your warm-up routine or ritual before you start the recording session? Oh, is this what you were talking about, Neil? Is this yeah, what yeah. we jumped in on? Yeah, yeah. I'm strange I'm one character. What's yours? Do you have a warm-up routine or uh, something to do um, specifically to your this character? Ooh. I, mean, I don't know about you. I was like, with me, me, it was kind of a part of me. I kind of got, like, this nice <laughs> juxt position of craziness and normal so <laughs> i got to bring out every woman's double side which was perfect <laughs> i had to do a lot we salute, we salute you. yes <laughs> like ah slancha cheers uh, slancha what happened to that means cheers and gaelic oh it's gaelic scott gaelic scott gaelic well. irish. irish yeah slancha there we go my husband, oh, cool. I was the yes. first person on the moon and the one who will put it back in orbit. I don't know if it's out of orbit. That's great. But I love it. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. This is amazing. Hello to everyone out Hello. there. We're just jumping in now. Oh, I think, do we have more questions here? Great performances. If you ever wanted to switch roles in RE Village, which one would you Ooh. want to be and why? I want to be the baby. <gasps> Wait, the scary <laughs> rose baby, or like scary no, giant no, like, creepy like, thing? Uh, what are they calling it? The guard fetus? The fetus. Oh, <laughs> the fetus. Don't be the fetus, darling. No. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's some self-respect. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> really I have no self-respect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? That is true. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Neil, what about you? Oh, I guess it. If you could switch. I would love me. Um, you could be any other character in the village. I got, 
I really got the thing. I, for me, I got the for me, I got the best person. Uh, I love playing <laughs> um, I would love to see a stab at Lady D. I think I'd be great. You'd look good. That I'd see see that fucking walk, man. I it's just want to see you in those heels. That's, that's yeah. you know. I think you could rock yeah. it. Yeah. those heels. I bet we could get you in those heels. I don't think we need to give you I a part so. to get you in heels. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't take much. It really doesn't take much. much. It's possible. <laughs> Lady D's a good one. She reminds me of like the evil queen from Snow White, like that oh, very yeah. evil villainous. Oh my god, she is it's so, like, so perfect. Until I played it, until I played um the game, I didn't get it. And I, I played the game, and was like, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. this is like completely like the, the sex symbol of the game. It's completely so get it. I'm, I'm half for it till uh, I'm just. <laughs> Yeah, so think, dangerous and so hot at the same time. Yeah. Really get it. I, don't, I don't even think I'd want like to switch to like another iconic character. I just want to be one of the werewolves. Like I yeah, just I want to be the werewolf. Play lichens, actually. They're pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I got to play, and so did you, Andy, as well. Mm -hmm. You played some lichens. Mm -hmm. Like I yeah, was I, so I, I jealous of that. And, yeah, it was, that was really fun. fun playing lichens as a hoot. That was really fun. Anytime you tell me to go on stage and just act psychotic and like wrestle with people, <laughs> why not? I mean, that sounds like a dream job, so. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a good time. Psycho? Psycho is a good time. Psycho, yeah. Poor, poor Todd had me um, tackling him to the ground and then beating him senseless about eight times. And we were on a crash mat. But I, I hit kind of hard, you know, and I was trying to, I wasn't, I mean, he's, he took it, he, you know, Todd's tough and he's I great. I saw one of those more. videos. But I, I tackled hard, man, I didn't pull punches too much. <laughs> so he was really good at the end. Like, I'm pretty sure they yelled cut, <laughs> and you just kept on going. Yeah. 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 Yeah
We call like, Jesse well, like the pope play lady. Like, yeah. yeah. He already called speaking, lady. Yeah. Speaking of Jesse, oh. I mean, I haven't done the section yet, but I feel like being a little Moreau would be really, that would be fun. Would be really that would be fun, right? Um, but I haven't played through the section yet. We're actually doing that on Thursday. I haven't announced it yet. Jess is going to come on. Okay. So all but you guys do it here. Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Jesse will for sure be here, maybe even with a charged computer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Fingers crossed. Also, guys, sorry, just need to spot. This is a bell ladder, so that so that Paula specifically could just be. Oh man, oh, it doesn't just be. Did you the slutty thing? And it just makes me really happy. You just want to be just, bell. You can just drink. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what time is it? It's like two. It's uh, let me t let me find it. It is. Oh my god! It's early in the clock. I just want so you idea. to know that I definitely want you to at least stay for one round of giveaways. But at some point, there's plenty of us here and we've been live for a million hours. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm alright. Okay. My hair's doing its own thing right now, which okay. is very interesting. But I'm okay. I personally, I personally, love you. you're <laughs> for sure by a lot. <laughs> Neil, if I, just, if I could oh, have your hair, I would grow hair. That is very true. Thank you. It is very true. I'm not good. I'm not good to hang out. Um, and I just like the fact that we all the families together, man. It's really nice. In fact, actually, um, we actually did have, I think we had a one day when we didn't have like Aaron and a couple of people from the village. But there was definitely a couple of days when we had pretty much everybody in. But that was the last time I saw everybody. So, yeah. you know, I've seen Andy, I've seen Nicole, obviously, recently, and Jeff and stuff. But, yeah, it's been a long time since we've all been together. So I'm, I'm with you in spirit. Sorry I can't be the old pesky government thing won't let me in because is... there's some kind of pandemic, <laughs> you know, going on. Other than other than the table read, this is actually, I think, the first time you... Were you at, you were at the table read. I wasn't. You were at the table read. I never thought. Like, yeah. I was like, there's no way she wasn't at the table read, but I don't uh, remember meeting Katie. The this. table read was well, supposed to either. be a little yeah. later, and I was at my sister's wedding. I was oh. a maid of honor. Chill. And I got the email that they pushed the table read a day earlier, and, and you were like, like oh. what? I <laughs> Well, good, good news, they weren't going to recast you at the table read. I mean, you were pretty lucky at that point. Katie, I like, I like the idea, Katie, that you could be like on Zoom during the wedding, going, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. And just like, <laughs> I'll be right there. I'm, I'm crying I do, here. I do. Okay. <laughs> just like, As I'm going, what have you done? <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I didn't meet, so I didn't meet any of you all till, um, till the first scene that we did, the family scene, because I, I flew in from Hungary to another job, wow. and I landed just after the table read, so I missed it as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I flew in from the valley. <laughs> <laughs> I, I drove all the way in. I flew in from the valley. I'd also been working on a garden, so... <laughs> um, Andy, that was yeah. not a humble brag. Can, we, can we also just humble brag for the fact that we have known each other like far previous to this project? Yeah. What? Yeah. We've done a short film together. I guess that was slightly after this project. That was after this project. But we had met before this project. What did we meet on? Because I just remember when you came to set, I was like, Andy? I have no idea. But we had something before this, and it wasn't the it wasn't the short film. Which, by the which, way, by the way, the short film's great. We're in a horror short film. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I think he's a creature. Yeah, I love it. Andy's an amazing yeah, monster so creature, creature and she murders me. So if you want to see yeah, Andy murders me. me, it's a short film that I have. I have no idea where it is. I don't think <laughs> it's not out yet. Merlin. I, I think they're going to do the festival circuit. I have now announced a short film that's not out. But we're both <laughs> uh, We have a tendency to do stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> Get out. So we did that, and then no. Before that, I promise you, we had met at Jamie's. Jamie. Uh, Morto Morto Morto. I can't say his last name. Oh. In Northridge. <laughs> yes. yes. We absolutely. Met. Oh, you're yep. right. Yep. You're right. Yep. You did yep. 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 Absolutely. Yes. yes. We I saw the thought bubbles happening. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so Andy and I knew each other, and then when she waltzed on the set, I was like. Hi, hi. Yeah, because at that point I was like, hey, Nicole, how did you get into voiceover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happened. I had like no experience. Because at that point I had done Jill, but it hadn't, it might have just, no, it hadn't even come out, I think. Yeah, yeah no, it hadn't even come out. 
but I think someone at that party like knew about the project was it Jamie? and it's <laughs> probably Jamie. <laughs> And might have and might have been like, oh yeah, she's in a she's in a thing. I was like, Jamie, you can't. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. And then we talked about voiceover. Yeah. And then sure enough, waltz into Ari Village, and I was like, so it worked out, huh? (laughs) You made it. There you go. All thanks to Sarah Coates. And we love our Sarah. Speaking of Sarah, should I go snag a Sarah? Go snag a Sarah. I'm gonna snag a Sarah. Sarah. Most definitely. Would you do it for a Sarah snack? You get snack get Sarah. What would you do for a Sarah snack? We have another question. Do we answer? Ooh, what do we got here? What's the best thing a director could do to help your work? Let you go. Just <laughs> like, yeah. Let yeah. You oh, try. Sarah, this is a question for you. What's yeah. The question? I... What's the best thing a director could do to help your work? In okay, what is okay for the cast? What is the best thing a director could do to help you work as an actor? Mm-hmm. Um, pose questions. I think during, you know, not, I don't necessarily like to be told what to do. I like to be asked questions Mm -hmm. and then I can answer them in the scene or I can answer them um, with the other actors. So, and you know, when an actor tells you to listen, you should be listening all the time. I didn't start listening in the first couple years of acting. (laughs) I was like, oh, I gotta read the lines. But then then when you start listening, you become better. So, (laughs) listen. And have a uh, a director ask questions. Mm-hmm. Um, I quite I quite I quite like it as well. I, by the way, hey, so, hi. Hi. Uh, um, I quite like it also when director when you ask a question, director, and then genuinely say a very confident way. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. And then give you that freedom to say just you know try it. Just yeah, try it. Yeah. Works, Any especially when you know like... that you've got like at least one that is usable. Mm-hmm. And they sort of turn around and often, you know, good directors, well, I think good directors always go, right, we've got time, just do whatever you want and yes. just try something. You know what I mean? That yeah. kind of wonderful thing where you and know that you're confident that you've got what they need. Now you just get to like, just try something else. Something yeah, I think just being really, really open to And nothing that you try is wrong. So, you know, yes, if it's there the may be like ways yeah. that yeah. fit. Just take the risk. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Aaron the planter? Yes. Hello. 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 What's the dream? Nice man. I played your TV but you very rarely do. You know what it's like in games, right? Unless you're doing performance capitals, if you mean VO, we don't always get to meet because yeah. it's like, uh, I don't know, you do stuff and you're actually working with somebody else and they, you never see them because they're just doing their own thing. Yeah, you know? for me it was because they so said, it's really nice that you, you all have this reunion. I'm just sorry I can't be with you all. Yeah. They said uh, yeah. originally, for when I got the part, they were like, yes, we're going to do this and you're gonna do some motion capture, and I was like, "Oh, that's great! I've never, you know, I've never done that before." And then, as it got closer and closer, and as they sort of finalized the design, they called me. Yeah. So you're not gonna be doing any of that. The Duke is huge, oh, sure. and he doesn't do, and he doesn't move at all. So <laughs> he's 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 the one's getting you in for reference. <laughs> no, I, mean, I was in there one day helping out Todd. Uh, just uh, that scene where um, Ethan wakes up in the back of the Duke's carriage. I would be there and just kind of giving him the lines and sort of helping out, you know, from afar. But that was the only time okay. I ever really got a chance to uh, to do something like that. But you know, maybe on the next one, who knows? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and what they came, what they, what I found out later was that in my second audition, they really encouraged me to move around and give me very specific movement directions. And so while, yeah. which I wasn't really used to in an audition, they just kind of see what you're doing, you know. And so I did all these different things: get cigar ash and kind of go like that, and just kind of try to reach around, to, like to get stuff and. Awesome. And, uh, and then she told me that they like really looked at that tape a lot as they were sort of it's like, a reference for them. Considering, yeah. yeah, so it's so like that was my motion capture. <laughs> it's just that's cool. That's great. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Some body living the character, man. It's cool. Nice to meet you. I'm a big fan of your work. Dude, so. oh, nice to meet you too. This is great. 
Yeah, bring, yes, yes. bring in the dog. Bring, right, in, the the dog. bring in the dog. Bring in the dog. <laughs> I feel super lucky because I, oh, am I in the middle? Oh, dude, I, I, I got to go in. Go 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 I got to be the casting associate on this, working with yes, Rosanna. So it was really awesome coming from Resident yeah. Evil 7, playing Marguerite, to be able to. By the way, you're fucking terrifying. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my hold on. Queen, you know, Thank terrible. you so much. Oh, my goodness. We have a friend. Nothing is better when this, when someone says, you scared the shit out of me. And I'm always like... Uh, I'm a grown man that does martial arts. I am terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you voicemails that are like, you better eat your goddamn supper. <laughs> you want me to give you the dog? Oh, <laughs> Nobody misses with mom. Nobody misses with mom. Gadget. No. Oh my god. But yeah, it was really wonderful to be able to do the casting assistant and then be able to get to read with everybody. Thank you. And get to see each actor come in and you kind of just knew, Rosanna and I kind of just knew every time someone came in and read for the role, we were like, that's the person. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys remember this, but Rosanna's really great. Rosanna Sun, the American producer of The Workout. Yeah, work, that's amazing. She, she, oh my God, this dog is sitting in my lap and I'm dying. <laughs> um, she likes to give, she likes to give the actors like 15 minutes. Usually you go into an audition, it's two minutes. They're like, that's, get out of here. She gives you 15 minutes. She likes to say what yeah. you were saying a second ago, Neil. Like she likes to play and yeah. pull you aside, yeah, she, give you yeah. a secret note, um, come yeah. back, let you try it again. I will say, yeah. when I would read for the Duke for the other people, I was like, "Do they <laughs> think that they might cast me?" <laughs> Do you think they might? That would have been great. Do you think they hit the, I can pull that. Off. I was great at it. So <laughs> you fucking slayed it. Okay, it was, slayed that it. was really picture. wonderful. I can picture that. Oh my gosh, the baby wants his mummy. Jeff Shine in the house. Jeff Hello. Shine. Oh my God. We haven't done a question yet. Oh, more questions. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read the question? Oh, you know. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm so good. I'm good. We have How a question How many, here. People, how many people are in the house? You know, like... Nine. Oh my god, nine, I, I think nine now. I think there's nine of us. Yeah. Like a hot nine, a sexy nine. There's this is like the biggest group I've seen in a really long time. I know, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> the question is, okay, I'm nine. Nine. the question is, I would love to know how each of you got into voiceover work. Also, hi, and much love from uh, to Sarah from Michelle and Jed. Michelle and Jed are my friends, so hug them. Jed's oh, a dog. Michelle and, and Michelle Jed. is wonderful, so. I'll hug okay. Um, do you guys want to answer me? I've gotten a voiceover work, Jeff, Neil? Yeah, Jeff guys in the background. I feel like a host. Um, like a yeah. Um, get a microphone and Jeff. Anything? <laughs> you know, uh Jeff too tired, Jacob. Thank you. Uh, I guess it happened pretty organically. I mean, I always done um like I was doing on camera and stuff like that. Um and I'd always been interested in doing animation and games and video games are always a big part of my life growing up. So um, I think the transition was pretty organic, um, but the, the, the day it really, really happened, I was actually, uh, I was reading for, um, Call of Duty was doing this interview show to their Black Ops game, and I was reading to be the host of this show where we were, like, interviewing people, and I'm, I'm not a host, it's not something I'm particularly good at, um, but during the course of the audition, the casting director was like, you seem like you know video games pretty well, I'm like, yeah, I'm a huge dork. <laughs> Like the rest of the day, being the, being the reader for all of the other guys, ended up booking the job down to being a reader for another Call of Duty game, ended up booking that. So it just, it all just kind of happened. All things happen. Awesome. So just one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. I always, when people talk about you, Jeff, I always explain you as like, you remind me of like the coolest nineties action star, like this handsome Disney prince. That's also <laughs> like, just so fucking badass at any moment will like swing in from a rafter and like kick someone in the face. That is you to me. You are just. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, 
That might be like the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. That's what, when you came into audition. <laughs> anybody else would describe me as good. When you came into audition I just, and I read with you, I was like, is this like, I'm getting like this, like I, 90s action star energy, like so talented, so handsome. I was, we were like, yeah, this is who this is going to be. He was. I'm still, I'm still trying to break the shine code because Jeff, Shine, who is my brother, and I love him dearly, and I say this as a compliment, is the only motherfucker I know on the planet that can take what is essentially, potentially, a very cheesy line and make it sound cool. You oh. can read a cornflake nutrition list and make it sound yeah, cool. Yeah, like, eat no these cornflakes, motherfucker. <laughs> but God damn it, one day I will steal that shit from you. So what I'm hearing is I we want you. a stream of Jeff Reeves cereal boxes. Yes. It's literally, so literally, cool. Jeff reads, Jeff Shine reads the, you know, the fucking yellow pages. And they're all there. Wouldn't it have to be like, no, I need to. But it would have to be, it would, it would have to be kid cereal, I think. It would have to be kid cereal, right? Yeah. <laughs> like chocolate, yeah. Pebbles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chocolate. And I'd always feel like you're going to pull a gun out of it. It's amazing. You're very. I don't know how you do that. It's amazing. Well, thank you. I mean, thank you. That's incredibly, that's yeah. incredibly generous. I'd be you're like, telling the truth. Me? I don't know what this is. <laughs> just fucking cool, Jeff. Let's talk to <laughs> you. How did you get into voice over? Oh. Oh, God, by accident. Um, I was broke. <laughs> so, um, oh, there's actually a legitimate question. I thought you were just like... No, no, I was being serious. Yeah, we got oh, the question. Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, well, I got into... Okay, I got into it because um, uh, I was basically an out-of-work actor and I found motion capture first, so doing like stunts and combat and shit, right? Well, and hey, Neil, I hate to cut at, off a good story about, about, about yeah, a career. career. He's there. Oh, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Okay, that's Jesse, fine. But that? I still have to rearrange I everything. Yeah. Hold on. I really apologize for being late. You're so fine. Watch, watch <laughs> this. Oh no, I can't do that. Okay. Hey, uh, J Jesse, are you for sure only voice? Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. Start where I'm mm -hmm. Jesse. Because if you no, keep no, the video, no. it would make my life easier. Right. Jesse is young <laughs> Robert De Niro. That's how I would explain oh. him. Okay. Versatile <laughs> character actor. It's fine. Strong. I'll just fix it. I got it, Jesse. You don't have to do video. Oh, thank you. You're the best. Mm -hmm. I'll, let me figure it out. I'll be in a second. Probably. No, no, it's all. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's all good. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make it work. Just, just uh, don't. I'm in here. Just uh, you know, doing my favorite thing, which is text up. Text up. Anti specialism. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I am a computer genius. Um, hey, can Jeff. Can you hold? Can you hold? Jeff. Can you hold? Can you hold? Thank you. <laughs> just don't hold. We're just sitting here. Thank you. Um, Neil. Um, Jeff, I just wanted to tell you that um, I really was intentional about ensuring that your box is the same size as Neil's because I thought about just making you kind of like tiny and walking away. Yeah, you have to this now. Right now, your box must be the same size. I was going to get this summer and realized there was no way I wasn't going to step in a, a million different minefields, so... Thank you, Nicole, is what we're going to go with. <laughs> we almost look like uh, the Brady Bunch. Sure, you know, Brady Bunch. I'll come back to you folks with this. Hello, welcome to host. Hi, how's everybody doing? We're going to uh, step over to Aaron the plot now and ask him how he got into voiceover work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, anytime uh, anybody ever asks a voiceover actor how they got into voiceover, it's usually like a serendipitous succession of events that occurred. There's no, like, you do this, you do this, you do that. Everybody has a crazy story, but yeah. what it all comes down to is if somebody's asking that question, they're probably interested in getting into voiceover. And the first step before any of that serendipitous stuff, Sarah, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> God, so, I'm, I'm that's fine. Fun, that's fun. Fun. Sure, fun. Fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's 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 all about if you're interested in it at all, then you have to experiment with what your voice sounds like recording it. So whatever rudimentary equipment you have. Recording yourself doing your own voice, doing other voices, and just seeing what that. And if that, and if that, if you hear your voice and it sparks something, then you should keep going. But if it doesn't spark anything, then what the fuck are you doing? It doesn't even matter. Who cares? You're not gonna. You know what I mean? So people, because people, that's we get those questions all the time, and it's like, they, we did this, we did that. Every, everybody's everybody's totally different, but the universal thing is just experimenting with your own voice and seeing how you feel about it. And Aaron does a lot of fun voices. I've known him since we were 15 years old. What? Hi, Ruben. That's my dog. 
That's Ruben. Ruben Winkles. Ruben Winkles. Okay. Back Maggie, how did you get into voiceover? Oh, uh, that's how you got into it. Yes, yes. It is. Um, how, how did I get into voiceover? It's I look at you to tell the story. It's Sarah. How did you get into voiceover? Tell yeah. the people. I know. Do you want me to give you a Maggie was, uh, she, she was studying in London. She was getting her sure. master's in London. She came to town and uh, she was looking up. She, was, she didn't really know, like, get an agent or maybe, like, I don't know uh, where you find auditions. She was looking for auditions and she found this audition kind of vague. She didn't know, is this a game? What is this? So she got the audition. She went in, she fucking nailed it. And then she came to the table read and she still didn't even know what was going on. She saw all of us and a lot of us didn't even know what was going on. So she's just kind of sitting there. And then after the table read and I will stop for a second and I would be myself and say, I was sitting at the end of the table. And the minute she opened her mouth, I was like, she knows what she's doing, ladies and gentlemen. So after the meeting was over, after the table read was, was over, she was sitting there and she could hear other people off to the side going, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's Red Mabel. And she was like, oh, this is a big deal. So then she went home and she looked it up and she started looking up like, uh, what is this? And then she found out what a big deal it actually was. And here we are. <laughs> I love the fact that Aaron oh, has presence and omnipotence. It's, it's great. So that's the thing, but that's the Duke. Like, you know, they don't say it for sure, but the Duke knows where you're going to be. Here it is. Please field all questions. Um, I also realized it was a fantastic question that I did indeed not only interrupt Neil, but then later shush him for a second. And I would never That's choose okay. my That's favorite like human. For us. I would never choose it's my like, favorite human though without coming back around to say like I still like to... bullshit. We like brother and sister, man. You should be able to learn. Take a flight. Yeah. You shush me all the time. <laughs> I could get the opportunity to speak. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie. Um, like, for the rest of the poll, shushed me on one of her streams too. <laughs> Did not. You go. Let's see, I'm gonna get a coffee because I need to really wake up. So be right back. Okay? And when right you back. saw the two, you said, Did I have a coffee? Somebody sent me the video and you're like, the Duke was like, What can I get? I hate you. Wow. So you have a theory she hates me. She hates it. I really. Just kidding. I was just outside being like, I I'm just Los Angeles. I'm just. Hi, Jesse. Sorry, we know that you're here. No, 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 no. I'm just a boy, so I don't expect to get too much attention. I just want to say I'm in Los Angeles, looking at all you guys in the sunny, sunny California sun. Aw, Jesse, we love you, Lucas, my sweet brother. Yeah, love you guys too. I'm so bright and happy. Lucas? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah. I was going to say when Maggie came in to read, I was I read with her, and she gave me she gave me Kate Blanchett. Um, she gave me experienced Shakespeare actor. I went to grad school for theater, and she came in, and I was like, "Oh, this bitch knows what she's doing. She works from her head to her toes. She is giving a hundred and ten percent. She commands the room when she walks in, and she walks with purpose and has more presence than most people." That's what I saw when she came in and read with me. And I read Heisenberg, which I will say was better Thank than Neil. <laughs> Neil's not here to refute, so yeah. I know that's why I didn't agree. <laughs> that's what I that's why I said because he's not here. But Hills Eisenberg. You and, really did, babe. Right? I was Thank just you. To do that. Um, I do I play a good man. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's what I felt when she came in. It was extremely wonderful and beautiful and great. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. I gotta go. Like, this is too much. I'm uncomfortable. Compliments are weird. I like aggressively telling people what I think about them straight to their face. Like, with, like if I were to explain Aaron, I've known Aaron since we were 14, 15 years old. Yeah. We went to the same yeah. high school. Yeah. And with Jeanette, too. We went all to the same high school. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Lake Stevens. What, Lake what? Stevens High School. Where's the Lake Stevens Journal writing about me, right. Jeanette, and Aaron? That's right. <laughs> We need to oh, together. But Aaron was and is the funniest person I've ever met. The best mimic, character actor, um, can do 
a voice of a young kid to an old man to anything you ask him to do, he can transform himself. And um, truly, I don't know why he is not on every animated series on TV because it is here. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Jesse, how are you? What are you doing right now? Where are you? you want to I was starting. I started the first half. I was going to be on my computer so I could check in, and then my uh, my my charger doesn't die, and now I have to go to Penn Station. Huh? Why are you coming here? No, I'm I'm, I'm I'm picking somebody up at Penn Station. Oh, you're so uh, sweet. Situation. Paula, oh look at. We're doing a little, uh, little Resident Evil 7 game. I have to pick my fiance up from Penn Station because she got sick and had to come back home from a trip. Oh, yikes. Well, let's thank you for tuning in. Um, was it? <laughs> let's see. Did, did any of you guys expect all the love you got from doing these characters? What was it like seeing the massive positive reaction to the Four Lords? It was like this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Um, having done seven, I didn't feel nearly this uh, loved. Yeah, seven was interesting because it was kind of the reboot of the game in a way, back to the original fear. Um, I mean, we had billboards there, but there wasn't like as much anticipation. And I think when eight came out, I think I this one. people were super excited. You know what? But I also, yeah, but I also. It's not my fault. Lady G. It's not my fault. Lady G. But I think, like, the if we would be remiss if we didn't bring up the writers, the designers of the characters. For sure. Because we're super lucky to be able to step into what they created and give it life. Over the course of years. Over the course of years. We work a couple weeks, but what they create and what they bring to life in Capcom and um, RE Games. And the workhouse. And the workhouse, Rosanna Sun. We do a little part to their huge years of creation so yeah it, we, it is the iceberg tip and we are so thankful to be able to bring whatever to life that they've created with wow. our tools um which is our voice and our movement so yeah it's really one really thing, really cool one thing that i think is cool it's important to say that actually that, that when when you play a game like you do with a movie Read the credits. Yes. Like, like I said, there are hundreds of people that spend way longer on so, these projects and make these games so good to play. Um, you know, we like we like the cherry on top, man. Yeah. We like reading the characters and you know, you can connect with them. But the game itself is, is also the thing. Yeah, we're and the cherry that gets the press. The yeah. <laughs> but they are the cherry creators, up. are the of uh, the people and who they are and their backstories and all of that stuff. So, oh yeah. you know, and people like Rosanna Sun in the workhouse who who oh, finds amazing. She's amazing. Do they want? Oh, they want to see how tall Rosanna. Oh my God! Look at this. I am five feet tall. Wait, you stand up. I am six feet tall. Six five? Six four? Six five. Six five. Six five. There's a reason that you get certain characters sometimes when it comes to mocap. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm your mom. Wait, Wait so tell me you a niche. You're a niche, darling. <laughs> it was wonderful <laughs> to be able to do that. So I know I'm tiny, yeah, people. Jeez. <laughs> Like I can feel the mood back in time, as if you didn't already know. What? You're tall. You're short. What? I, what? I know. <laughs> Kids at grocery stores will stop oh, and show me how tall I am. It's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's you see the girl. Kids. I get, wait, are you a kid or are you a grown up? Oh. <laughs> I like oh, I'm just going to keep you guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, beer. Yeah, you're drinking beer, and they're like, "What? Giveaway? Oh, it's giveaway time!" Oh, okay, all right. Right. Giveaway. So, if you are just tuning in or did, didn't miss the first breakdown, what we do is uh, there'll be a, a night bot. I think is going to talk to our moderator. Team. She's amazing. It's going to toss in um, all of our handles. So, step one to enter our giveaway is to make sure you're following all of us uh, people here. Yeah, so once you follow all of them, click, 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 click. There we go. There we have it in the chat. Uh, then step two will be to put in the chat this one secret mystery word we're about to announce. You'll have one minute to type it in, and that typing in the word will enter you in the drawing. And then our moderator is going to pick 
five winners to get these amazing digital avatar codes that Capcom has sent us. We're going to do this on the hour until 9 p.m., at which point we will do our grand finale of pulling one for the signed collector's edition game box extraordinaire. So, hi. It's so nice to have you in here, Paul. <laughs> I will chat. That's You're good. Um, so, so, yes, so we should um, make sure you're following all the lists there. I'll give you just uh, a few seconds to get on board that if you're not already following us. We're kind of cool. Um, can, can, I, can I try and win? Yes. <laughs> yes, Jesse. <laughs> yes, 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 Jesse. Same rules. <laughs> I'm kidding. Same rules. <laughs> and then, um, should we wait? Does she tell us one? Um, yeah. Hey, uh, two things. Jesse, just letting you know, we'll have you, announce, we'll have you announce one of the winners so you feel extra close to us. Yeah. You're going to see it in the, the chat. Um, Discord chat. The Discord chat of this call. You'll see where Jen's been putting the questions. Okay. And Jen, are you ready? I can't find. Jen, I'm ready. Yes. Yay. Amazing. She's um, born ready. So. All right. Do it. <laughs> our <laughs> mystery word that you will have one minute to enter once you've followed everybody on there is lichen. L y c a n. Type that like sucker it. in. You got a minute. Your minute starts now. Oh, enter the giveaway. Type that in. Like it. 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 Like um, so many lichens. That's so many wow. lichens. What a chat full of lichens. Oh, okay. so many of you. It's coming up on a minute. That chat is full of nothing but lichens and monsters. Quick, fight them. Oh my god, am I in the village right now? <laughs> I'm just transported. <laughs> okay, guys. And good. Let's do it. How we feel it. And we will pop it into the Discord chat. And Jesse, you can announce the first winner. Well, I can't wait. And the winner is Ari Smithale. Yay! That's you. Crushed it. Crushed it. Ari Smithale. You have to. R E S M I K H A N L. And buddy, um, friend, human, hi, um, winner. That's you. Um. Make sure you whisper Jen Von Lee. She's our mod and the most amazing person ever. We'll get that to you. Uh, whisper her. Oh, yeah. um, what does that mean, whisper? You know, I don't know. It's a Twitch. Like DM. I think it's Twitch. DM. All right. Should we do Oh, here's, here's the next one. You guys Maggie? Yes. Okay. That's our next winner. Okay. I don't know the next one. Yes. Ede. <laughs> <laughs> Spelled E D D E E H H. I love a double letter. Yeah. And three. Eda. Yay, Eda. 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 Whisper Jen for your uh, code. All right, coming up on another one. We got three more for this hour. That's mine. That's mine. All right. Do any of you gents want to take this? Neil, you want to announce us? You want to announce the next winner here? Absolutely, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm literally poised. Yes. I thought that. Poised That's a good poised face. But this is my poised position. It's the last one um, in chat. I'm sorry, in the Discord chat. Um, walk me through it one more time. It's for chat. The last one. The last one that's here. Under E D. Yeah, it starts with a D. Yep, got it. So the winner is Davo Jam. Davo Jam. Davo Jam. Get your code and Davo Jam. Thank you, Davo Jam. Hola mas, you want to do it, Jeff? Jeff Sharon? Yes. Yes. Which one am I reading? The third, the fourth one? The last one. It's very Oh cool. my god. I know, it's a great I'm name. jealous. It's a good I didn't get to say this. Wait. Wait. On Discord. On Discord. You can do it. I believe in you. Which one? Wait, wait. Which was the last one? The one after Dabo Jam. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Okay, so Dabo Jam. Yeah. So the winner is... Oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. 
the Oracle Dragon. <laughs> Can you give it a little extra, yeah, like, a little something, a little spice? Like, Lenny, put some sauce on it, please. Try again. Do it again, but better. That was not enough. No, we need more sauce. More. Give us the goods. <laughs> what does this look like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, hi, we've never met. Nice to meet you. This is my mom, Maggie. She's the best. This is my mom, Maggie. <laughs> the winner is the world of the Tension. Did I have to spend Sure. Congratulations to you guys. Tune in again next hour. Don't we? Next oh, week. Don't we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, here. The last one for this hour mm. is Louis Weber. Louis J. Weber. Louis J. Weber. Louis J. Weber. Louis J. Weber. Congratulations. Make sure all the winners for this hour that you whisper Jen Bonley on Twitch. So that mm. she can get your information, in which we can send you a code. Indeed. Okay, yeah. squad. We'll have two more such drawings on the hour in the next two hours, with the final one being with the signed collector's edition, 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 edition. It's a very sexy echo, but I believe we have an echo. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you guys. Oh, and um, you know, if you're hungry, get you some pizza because we are sponsored by Domino's. Very yeah, thankful to them. Join us in some pieing. And Capcom, who has given us these amazing codes to give to all you in their appreciation for your fandom, as well as the collector's edition box. Which is super cool. And we are signing the uh, art book and the hard copy of the game. Yeah, show it off. Show it off. Actually, we've all signed it. Um, so. If you haven't seen the collector's edition, yeah. it's pretty epic. It's a huge box. There's a Chris Redfield statue in it, which is awesome. There is the game itself. Uh, is it? Is it awesome? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's pretty awesome. awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> would you, if you were here, you can touch it. If you were here, you can touch it. You can touch it. but you can look at it. So we have signed this amazing village art book, which, speaking of all the amazing love that went into this, it is some of the just epic efforts, thought, uh, detail-oriented, you know, storytelling that went into the entire game. It is beautiful, and I'm in love with it. I'm going to love it right now. And there is a map, the fabric map, Oh, that's cool. And this fancy, fancy case. Oh yeah, this guy's cool. The the hard, you know, the, the hard like metal. Fancy cases to put the game in also came with one of those. Fancy. So mm -hmm. sorry. Um, obviously fancy. it's not signed by Jeff and Neil and Jesse, but they blessed it. So because they're lucky, guys. They're on other sets, but you can see it's like this big. It comes with all the awesome stuff. Hey Jeff, check out this cool thing you don't have of your character. Wow. There we go. There we go. Um, you can have to win. Twitch chat. I'm like, I'm, I'm first. <laughs> Jeff is very hurt. Um, we're gonna give Jeff a PO box, and if anyone just has an extra one, lying around. Yeah. Um, Jinx. Don't think I heard um, that. Send them to send them. To send them his way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Paula. Yes. Do you wanna do you wanna send in uh, Becca and Emma? Let's have a family reunion. Ladies of the Dumbetrust castle moments. Plus, <laughs> plus Unky Heisenberg. And <laughs> oh, and this guy. Uh, the other guys uh, too. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Perch on the ladder, look like a queen. I love this ladder. This is giving me such bell vibes. Is what I said earlier? I so I'm gonna slide. There's a little stick right at the beginning, I found. 
pass that, and then you're good to go. But has anyone else seen the Nigel Thornberry Beauty and the Beast thing where she does the slide and then she turns her face back around and it's Nigel's face? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. Cool. Good story. Um, wow. That's the only good reason I'm not there, because if I did that, I'd probably end up smacking my head against the actual ladder. Mm -hmm. The whole agree. house would come crashing down. Yeah. But you have a lot of attention from a lot of lovely ladies taking care of you, so maybe it'd be worth it. Well, that, that. There's something, yeah, there's silver lining. <laughs> I, I, I actually came in earlier, I'm sure you saw it, it was an, an, an awkward mom moment, but it made me really happy. I came in with the muffins and the cupcakes that Becca made. I didn't even make them, but I was just like, do you want a cupcake? Do you want a cupcake? Because Becca made these cupcakes. <laughs> and they were like having a serious conversation. I was like, but a cupcake? And I'm like, oh no, I'm an actor. Like, I'm on camera. Oh, that's okay. And I was like, but they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, <laughs> fantastic cupcakes. Can I show you some? Well, that's the one that I talked about. I had two sets, and one of them kind of went upside down. So let's not go with this. Look at these cupcakes. You gotta got tell um, Jesse, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jesse, are you are you are you are you, you hang gliding right now? <laughs> no, what? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can hear you hang gliding. It's a like little definitely awkward. like you know trying to talk and stuff, but when you're not, you might want to mute your uh, your mic too, just because it's like the background in the room. And by the, by the way, it's Jeff and Jesse, it's really? nice to meet you both because I've never actually met either one of you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, sure. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to take this moment. Jen's already sending us questions, so we can definitely pop on a couple of those. But I'm gonna take this moment also, since we're all here. Um, if you just want to see more of these three women right here, <laughs> me included. Uh, you can come join us tomorrow because I'm just going to stream every day for the rest of my life. Um, mom, right here. Mom, mom I'm trying mother, to. Mother, mom, mother. Put your finger on my nose. <laughs> gross. Actually, yum. No. Um, you like the blood, not the actual. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hmm. Um, anyway, point now yeah, that I've done that, we're still... we've got that out of the way. Just say it, girls. Get it out. Get it out. They're listening. Why can't some gentlemen in my family? <laughs> Um, we're streaming. Yeah, it's on a, it's really have, you seen, have you seen the art? <laughs> yeah, have you seen the art? Yeah, I did. You? Yeah, I saw it. It was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. We love it's it. very disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. like the one that um, Maggie you showed me this actually. The one where it can't be, was it the Get Along t shirt or something? Yes, for you and I. I like it's really but good. It's my, I, like I want us to do that in real life. That's my. Yeah, you know, I think if we were doing a convention that. together, we will find that we will make that t shirt happen. I think. Well, we just don't show you. We're kind of approximate by anyway. I'm like 6'2. Six There's a new Actually, one. You're six foot, right? There's yeah. a new one that came out today, and I wish yeah. I knew everyone's, are all the artists' amazing names, and I feel bad that I don't. But there's one that came out today where Unky Heisenberg got the, the daughters a puppy. And so he's like bringing a puppy to them, what? and that shows Mama D with the puppy, and it's like super tight when she holds it. <laughs> it's like a little puppy. It's like a puppy puppy. I have a puppy. Um, it's a it's a on puppy. Twitter. I don't know if I retweeted it, but I will now that I've talked about it. Um, you will. Did you ever get out of the promotion? Oh, you tried. No, I'm not intelligent. I never got it out. It never happened. Oh, right. <laughs> I tried to pick your nose with the, with the fake finger oh, when we got distracted. You think she's in control most of the time, but no, no, no. <laughs> It's, I'm never in control. It's always in the side. Um, house Tom and Tress. Hi, that's us. We have our live signing, our first of probably many. Um, <laughs> there it is. Live signing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Show. Show. We have the live stream. Show. Show. I'm so sorry. We have a live signing tomorrow if you want to come. It's at one camp Pacific Stand Time, streamly.com slash any of our names or Resident Evil. You can see the print. It's a big 11 by 17. They look amazing. We're going to sign them all up and send them to you through Streamly. That's it. All right. And then again on Monday. Monday. Right. I got to go. Show the picture. Show the picture. Sister, there's questions in that chat. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. So. Hey, babe. Can you grab me a bag because my chapstick's in there? And I need it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. The question. Oh, my my bag. It's my mother. My bag. The bag that is mine. Put ten yellows on the problem. The red backpack. Okay, I can oh, only see oh, half this question. It's right there. It's right there. It's like, is it this one? Do you see what I have to put up with? Really? <laughs> okay, I can't see all this question. Can you can we scroll it down? Okay, this you is going to be a fudge on a stick. This is going to be the blind <laughs> leading the blind. Anyone who's attended one of my streams knows that I don't do technology. Okay, can I I'm make right this bigger? You. I made it! 
Oh, you guys are smaller. Sorry. Um, <laughs> hey guys. J Josh. Josh, our Discord hero, couldn't be here tonight because it's so late in the UK. LOL, Neil. <laughs> but I am here to tell all of you guys that he appreciates you and loves the work that you have done. Heart. Anyway, question time. <laughs> what would your power slash mutation be if you were given the kudu? You both simultaneously. Um, right. Kadu? Hmm. You can say one. Uh, you can say one of the ones from the game if you want, or you can make up your own. Violet elf person. Violet elf person. Elf. Well, clearly, I want the gift of healing, because if I can heal, I will never die. You don't want magic <sighs> healing water. Hmm? You don't want magic healing water? Well, I wouldn't have the gift of healing so I could heal you and heal myself and heal anyone who died in the game so they would never be able to defeat us. Oh, cute. That's very selfless of you. Mine is way more selfish. Yeah, what was yours? I don't know. <laughs> but it's selfish. You said you knew what. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but I know that it would only serve me and no one else. It'd be about me. Mm. Is, um, this, is this mother speaking or is this Maggie speaking? <laughs> Huh. I don't know anymore. <laughs> is there a difference? Where is my chapstick, you guys? My superpower would be to have an infinite supply of chapstick anywhere and any time that I need it. That's a good one. <laughs> or that my lips would just never get chapped. There we go. Hmm. And then I wouldn't need the chapstick. Go with that one, the second. Neil, This Jeff. is a plug for yeah. Aquaphor. Oh, Aquaphor is the best. Gents? What would your superpower be? <laughs> hey, hey, what, what, what? Neil, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> shit. Have you done something you, you to You've the string, so I'm now like trying to like... Shit! Two little I did it, didn't I? God. In the videos, then look, look, look at the videos. Fudge. So what happened? Wait, wait, what? I did it. It's all my fault. What I don't did you know. Do? What happened? I thought I was okay. <laughs> So did, you, did we shrink on your end or what? No, it's, it's fine. I'm having fun with my little comfort. Cool. <laughs> You're making the best of this. There you go. Now I'm dressed. Mess out of it. So what happened? Nicole? Nicole? Hold on one second, please. No. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, great. <laughs> so we don't know what happened, but we're going to fix it. Wait, enough! <laughs> what are you doing, Jeff? He's, he's not, he's distracted. <laughs> You're like, tech. Yeah. Oh no, no, did you? No, don't change anything. I, ever. I didn't. <laughs> It what did you do, mother? Wait, what did you do though, physically? Um, I physically you just tried this? to make this chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Not that acceptable. has an effect on mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. So we're gonna Bye. just we're gonna do that. Look at that. Ooh, sexy. We couldn't see the word. Thick. So she was so just trying to. Just gonna have to scroll. You see this little scroll no. button <laughs> right here? See this little guy? I don't scroll. This is this is your little right on the mouse. It's right here. This is your little oh, scroll it's button. Right the mouse, in the morning. <laughs> Having fun yet, Neil? Neil, Neil. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yes, brother. I'm right there with you. You know what, guys? I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, this was a nice one. Can you share with us some stories about working with Jeanette? She was amazing in the game, and the community loves her. Mac Winters. I'm sure we will talk lots about this as well tomorrow when we're doing all house D stuff, because we're all going to put a little doodle for Jeanette. Um, but I think we could all attest just generally a light. Like you just walk into a room and she just has a really fantastic, oh, she's great. just like such a good energy as a human yeah. and just like full yeah. of sunshine and so willing to throw down and like a badass and like zero ego, just there to like make good work and, and hang. Yeah. So, she was super cool. Though. Definitely yeah, put all of her great. heart and soul into it. Like she was having a time of her life and is just really giving it her all, which is really beautiful to see. I could grab Erin if you want. Erin and Sarah, who've known her since she was. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. Um, we'll trade out. They've known her for years and years and years and years. But yeah, she's. She. How do I fit on this ladder? I'm too big for this, but here we go. Yeah, she's a. She was a firecracker, man. And here they are. Yeah, what are we talking about? We're here? talking about Miss Jeanette. Our queen, our angel. They, they just asked, the last question was, can you share with us some stories about working with Jeanette? She was amazing in the game and the community loves her. And so we were just trying to like, share a little bit about just like the team. I'm gonna go oh no, of course. Um, Here Maggie, get back on the line. Erin has known Jeanette for 30 plus years and they were best friends. And yeah. um, 
for me, I remember seeing her in assemblies in high school and being like, that is an actress. That is who I want to emulate. That is who I want to be. And from then, we just remained connected. And the two of us never had an opportunity to really work together, but we would, you know, just stay in contact and support each other. And when this opportunity came up to bring in two people that I already knew were freakishly talented and that could bring this hope and wish to work together at some point. Um, and, you know, I brought them in, but they brought the talent and goods and were so good and perfectly cast. And so it was really lovely when we shot Louise's scene. Um, that was the day that Jeanette and I got to work together. And it was just super magical. It was a super magical day. And we had to do this, uh, like, prayer for her mother Miranda and I could not fucking remember it you know when something just does not stick in your goddamn brain and you're like get in there you bitch get in and the darkness and in light get to get love to mother Miranda. Miranda and Jeanette brought me to the side and I'm like help me please and she's like sitting with me and we held hands she's like in darkness and in light we give glory to mother Miranda like we were just like saying it like it was a prayer and she got it into my brain and thank goodness because we would be doing it and I'd be like I can't really <laughs> And if you listen really closely, you can hear Louisa slightly. <laughs> just and, really <laughs> messing it up. But to be able to work with her and uh, do that and, and just, you know, be someone that I admired for years always was like the epitome of talent and beauty and kindness and love. And I feel very lucky. So. Yeah, Jeanette's a, a, a absolutely a wonderful human being and a, a unicorn of a person. Truly. Uh, I met her uh, when I was about, uh, well, I guess I became aware of her when I was about eight years old in the hallways of our elementary school. Her brother was my same age. And so then... Hillcrest Elementary? It was or? at Mount Pilchuck. Mount Pilchuck. Mount Pilchuck, <laughs> red and black Panthers, baby. Like Steven the Turtle. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I, I started hanging around with her brother when I was in the second, uh, the seventh grade, and we would, uh, they had some woods by their house, and so we would just spend all summers, millions and millions of memories, just running through the woods playing. We, there was a cemetery that we used to play hide, hide and seek in, and then when I was about 13 in eighth grade, she was in high school, and uh, they were doing a play, and they didn't have enough kids, so they opened up the tryouts to, like, the community, and she encouraged me to go up there and audition, and and I did, and I got the I got the lead in it, and so she and I did this play together, and that was I mean I had done a little bit of theater before that, but that sort of uh, was one of the things that really got me going, and then all throughout the time we were in high school together, we were always paired up together. We were in the Fantastics, and we played Henry and Mortimer together, and just a I mean just millions of things of different things, and so then after high school. She moved to Seattle, then I moved to Seattle. We happened to get apartments down the street from each other. Uh, lonely nights, she'd just come over to my place and we'd sit out on my balcony and just talk about trying to get in. How, how are we going to do it? What are we going to do? What are you doing? What I'm going to do? What are hopes and dreams kind of stuff. And then, um, and then as the years wore on, I decided that I wanted to come down to Los Angeles. So, so I came here. And a few years later, uh, she, uh, people don't know about her, she was struggling with Crohn's disease for years. Uh, really, really, really bad. And uh, she said, if I don't go down to LA, I'm never going to do it. So in the midst of dealing with that sickness, she moved to Los Angeles. And when she got here, something happened and uh, Crohn's went into remission. And uh, she basically just unfurled her wings and started uh, creating a network of people. She was a teacher yeah. uh, for children, an uh, acting teacher, uh, which she absolutely loved. And she built this wonderful community, wonderful network. And... Um, and then this came along, and so what was really neat about it is that I don't recall, I don't know if you told me that she was auditioning too. I feel like I showed up at the table reading, there she was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't allowed to say. That's right, yeah, sorry. That's right. But, yeah. but I, yeah, I, I kind of felt really cool to yeah. just be able to have my friends there too that were so fucking talented. I was yeah. like, yeah. So, so to show up at the table reading to see her sitting down at the end and she didn't know she was going to see me either. So of course we had that moment that, you know, sort of quick hug right before the table read. And, um, you know, we, since we were paired up from the time we were babies doing this stuff, it seems only fitting that maybe we maybe weren't paired up in this game, but paired up. getting to be in it, uh, yeah. was absolutely incredible. And, uh, 
you know, with uh, if you're curious about Jeanette at all, uh, look her up. Try to find try to find things. There's going to be a movie coming out. Yeah. She was in a movie called Charm City Kings on HBO Max. It's that uh, she's wonderful in and uh, really heartfelt. And I don't know. I just uh, just look her up. There's there's yeah. so much. There's a backlog of beautiful yeah. work that she has done. Yeah, you, know, you don't. You're, you're, well, yeah, she's just. Uh, she did a movie with a dear friend of mine, Lynn Shelton. That's kind of how we reconnected again. And it was just kind of this beautiful Seattle community. Um, and she always represented just joy. Everyone you can ever talk to her, it's like joy, passion, kindness, quirkiness. Like you said, like a unicorn of the human yeah. being. Yeah. So when, when you want to talk about acting, if you want to talk about acting styles, oh. what was her thing was, there's something being asked of me. I'm just going to go for it and get direction. Not, can you tell me what you need me to do before? She's always <laughs> just like, no, what's the scene? All right, let me just be up. A, a, be a maniac and then you can rein me back in which i feel is the best way to do it but that's my own opinion but so that is in terms of her being a performer even though unfortunately i didn't get to do any of the mocap i mean i'm meeting a lot of these people today for the first time and so but i you know remembering back to uh those days of working in a theater with her and stuff and i mean she hasn't changed from when she started doing it one of the things that struck me because we had talked about crohn's like literally during a, a lunch hour oh, sort of she thing her own stuff. Yeah. she like she literally like you would never guess that this woman struggled massively with a, a very serious yeah. ongoing disease because yeah, she true. just showed up with like, yeah. yeah, whatever, that's just one other what thing on my list. What do we get for you? Um, she'd be like, I'll just I don't know, like, she literally, know. she like, like fueled yeah. herself and kept herself going by by committing to her own nutrition and like just all of this crazy stuff. And and at the same time, like she was so persistent on, on all of that. And it felt just like one more quick thing on the list that I kind of like do in my life. Cause she just was so focused yeah. on, on acting and being there. So like we talked about it for a minute and it just struck me, I was like, mm -hmm. dang, like, <laughs> that, that woman yeah, and I just want to say, I just want to say, yeah. on behalf of uh, her family and her fiance, myself, and everyone that loved her, we appreciate so much. We are so incredibly grateful. I mean, obviously, it's a, a an absolute nightmare, and an, we're absolutely devastated. But to see people uh, dressing up like the character, the fan art of all the the, the the lady and her daughters, and all that's all the goodwill that's coming our way is. I mean, I was actually with her fiance yesterday having lunch, and. We, he, he remarked about that, that, you know, like, obviously everything is horrible, but the fact that the reaction is so strong and so positive, uh, it's And it just, means yeah. a lot. Like, we, 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 we send that stuff yeah. on, on the family. Yeah. I send stuff to yeah. her fiancé and, and whatever else. Yeah, and, and we really appreciate the it. The crazy outpouring has been amazing. Yeah. Um, there was a, a, a big, when it was first announced, they did a whole, like, fundraising thing. Yeah. And it just has really been so amazing to see such a strong reaction from everyone. Yeah, so thank you all very yeah. so, so much. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we love her forever. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to go get some pizza. Actually, <laughs> go pet a Patty. We have Andy's dog here. I think she was seen earlier. Katie, Katie, would you come in? Hello, hello. What do we got going on? Oh, I was looking down because my family, who watches my streams, which makes me so happy, um, texted me when apparently Maggie broke the OB uh, the Discord. And they, they, I just looked down at my phone and they're like, Nick, fix the OBS. I just feel so supportive. I'm so supportive. Don't touch. Don't touch. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. <laughs> All right. Here's a good. Here's a good question. This is a good question for Katie because if there's any character that represents. Shut up. Sorry. 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 Oh, sorry. Wait, you get my own patronage. <laughs> if there, if there's any character that represents, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> a draining day of mocap on set. I think it would be Mia. <laughs> Um, because the question is from Ideas of Jewel Eye, and it says, Hi, all, for those who are on screen right now, which is us three, um, but I'm going to direct this to Katie. <laughs> How do you ground yourself after an emotionally draining day doing mocap or voice work? Thanks, Ideas of Jewel. That's a great question. That's a great question. And it really varies. For me, it varies so mm. much from seven to eight. So in seven, the emotional stuff was more just psychotic. Uh, so it was a little bit easier. You were just tired, but you were good because it wasn't too like 
emotional per se. Uh, but with eight, it was very different. Um, I got to do a little bit with Jeff, not very much though, because of stupid COVID. Um, <laughs> we, we did, we did get to do a little bit. Um, I still blame you. Um, it was not nice to shoot me up. Not cool at all. I think people agree with me here. Not a cool move, man. I'm just saying it's been- I only did, I only, it was only like seven times. Yeah. The first round was seven, and then we went back on the ground for another seven. I mean, it was a little overkill, just a oh, little. Yeah, but, but that was just like, uh, I mean, it, it was kind of rude. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I've already decided that um, Chris is the bad guy for this one. Not me. Not this time. Really? Not my fault. It's not me at fault this time. Chris is the one who messed it all up this time. <laughs> is it so? <laughs> <laughs> you brought us into this mess. <laughs> yeah, but I don't forget. Yeah. yeah, true story. So oh my God, he's going to pitch Redfield logic. Say, well, he's going to convince you that everything he says is true. Go exactly. listen. Go get dressed. Absolutely. Fine. Fine. You have to believe him. It's, I, it's their fault. I saw someone in chat ask where Ethan was. Oh, Ethan's here. Yeah. Ethan's right here, everyone. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Katie brought this. I made sure he lives with me. This is all he had left. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, nice to be. Oh, it's just love. I lost the ring, though. My bad. My bad. Oh, lost the, the ring. ring. The, the one to rule them all. Um, <laughs> sorry. Back to mocap. Yeah. Um, for eight, it was tough this time around. Uh, I don't want any spoilers, but if anybody's on here, you should have played the game by now. You should know the. <laughs> Admittedly, I haven't gotten to the end, so let's talk about it broadly. Okay. Of being broadly. It was a really hard scene because I generally know what they were, but I would love to like experience it yes. firsthand. It was very emotional. I have to admit, um, because of working with Ethan and Todd um, for so many years, it, it getting through the the final scenes was definitely more emotional than I thought it would be. Um, so I was able to reach a point I wasn't expecting to reach in mocap uh, and then having to come down from that, you kind of have to give yourself time. I think that's how a lot of actors are. I don't have to shut down. I don't have to be by myself, but you just have to know yourself and know like, okay, I'm just going to go back real quick to my area. And because again, it was during COVID. So we had our little areas that we lived in, <laughs> in our town time. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of like I had to take a little bit of a, breather and a calming before going on again. But um, I, I think every actor is different in that way with uh, your levels and having to get through with the acting. And I would say, I don't know about you guys, but with doing mocap, it's it's very different. Like having to reach those higher emotional points when you're strapped into all this crazy gear and you just your mind just kind of has to forget that it's all there. Um, the helmet, the camera, the dots and reflectors, you just kind of have to let it fade away so you can just be in the scene and be the character again. So, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> I feel like that's, yeah, that's pretty solid. I got one in here from Jeff, from Jeff. Um, well, not from Jeff, but from Otamengalis. Thanks to Jeff. Yeah, go in quick and get a drink, honey. Oh yeah, go for it. Do what you need to do, Neil. Drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just right before we get to the question, can you help me real quick? I can't. Work, I can't see the chat. In the, the the Discord. Okay. So if you just kind of are you on your computer? Yeah. All right. So just take your mouse up. Don't click anything. If you take your mouse up to the kind of images, you'll see a little um, arrow key. All right, team. <laughs> you'll, you'll see a little arrow key on the left hand side and that should pop there's a hide chat or show chat option on the left hand bottom part if your mouse your cursor is on like the images section good luck that's okay i'm here i'm with you here we don't go. worry, everyone. These will be on Instagram do you later. Put chat and Jeff and Yeah. Let's see. Can we get? It? Yeah. All right, chat. Get in this little chat. Smile. Look good. Get everybody. Chitty puppy puppy. Oh god. You guys are you guys are really small, but you know what? <laughs> Just smile. Just smile. Real big. Um, 
Um, does anyone else want to be in this up again? From Autumn Angulus. Autumn Angulus. I like that name. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, simply put, playing for the awesome. I mean, he's, it's a phenomenal character. It's he's so you know well known and iconic. And, uh, I think anytime you you get the opportunity to step into a role like that is, is a is a unique and privileged place to be. So I was incredibly enthusiastic about getting the chance to do it. Um, I think it, it, I mean, it definitely came with some trepidation for like a number of reasons. I mean, you know, one was it was taking over a character who's been around for a long time and had some amazing people, um, you know, lend their voices to him. On top of which, um, you know, also coming off of, you know, just doing a different iteration of a character uh, in the same universe. And so, you know, pivoting there was, um, uh, was, was a task. But, but I think the thing is, you know, uh, you know, Carlos and Chris are such different beings that, um, you know, it didn't require too much cerebral effort to do that. Um, but, but Chris is awesome and I'm so happy to get a chance to, uh, to play him and, and I hope I continue to get a chance to do it. Uh, but the way he was written in this particular iteration and where we find him in the story. So, um, yeah, it's been a privilege. Great answer. That was beautiful. I'm so glad Maggie's here. Yeah, yeah. On my on, on on the stream yesterday, it was lots of Jeff like finishing a really like important thing, and then me just literally just just not saying anything, and him being like, "This is this is your moment, Nick." And now it's your turn. <laughs> oh yeah, all of the all of the like hmm? your failings in a conversation. What is, I don't know what you're talking about. What failing? I saw someone ask me. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter has yeah. no failings. You know, we mean, I mean, like, we mean, like, conversation, I mean, like, saying something, oh, and it would be, like, either a funny joke, a punchline, a serious story, and just fucking silence. Yeah. Silence. <laughs> like, so long with the pregnant pause that I thought I dropped off the call. <laughs> All it is when you land a punchline that you think is great, and you know your partner in front over here is going to back you up. She's going to get yeah. you a chocolate, she's going to throw me a bone, she's going to get chat going. So instead, she just leaves your ass out in the wind in yes. front of like a thousand people. Look, yeah. I, I, have not, I have not been well. I am here. I'm no longer contagious because I've been on antibiotics for so long. But, like, that's my excuse. I'm just not at 100%. All right? All right? Ugh. 
Did you read the little chapter? Oh no, I'm gonna read it now. I'm gonna read it. How small world is that? <laughs> Wait, oh wow, it's really hard, guys. You're See, right. you're that's right. Why I'm just scrolling is super hard. Okay. Yeah, that's fucked up. I'm amazed that that it's like 20 million people in Greater Los Angeles and you run into. We're in Atlanta. It's fucked up. Are you in Atlanta? Jeez, you're not even in Los Angeles. You're in fucking Atlanta. I don't know Atlanta. That's insane. Back and forth as it used to be, but my wife is. You saw him in Atlanta. All right, let's go. Yeah. Jeff, I don't, I don't know who that is. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, we're having it. No. Can I jump in, sister? Yeah, would you please? I don't know who that is. Or yeah, do you? Yeah. Three. Oh, oh my gosh! Fudge. No way! Should <laughs> be the nicest guy. The nicest guy. Something like already want to be the best friend. Oh, amazing! All right, I love that we're just <clears throat> having a little side, <clears throat> having a little, having a little side combo. Um, you can't stay with that. <laughs> there me. Oh, I like the seat placement. Oh, uh, we can move the fire up. Yeah. It's just like, it's, oh, it's yeah, perfect. It. It's to come out. Also, oh. can we also just get a huge thank you to everyone because, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. Words. <laughs> thank you for the support. Can we get a huge thank you from everyone to Paula, who Paula? is actually hosting this? I just offered to put it on Twitch because I knew yeah. you guys would be able to find us instead of having literally. <laughs> Instagram lives happening. Um, so we're here. It's humans. But it's Paula. It's all Paula. Paula is the reason that we're here. Um, so you have Angie to thank for everyone. She like blackmailed everyone to get here. <laughs> Chat is flooded with it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad you went. We just saw all the sightings happening and we're like, what? We all got together. Yeah, so yeah. She just wanted us to meet each other. Yeah, a lot of us too. don't even know each other. Paul, this originally under the context of, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, there's a ton of Streamly sightings happening. If you want prints, like, everyone has a shop open. Streamly.com slash Resident Evil will take you to all of the available prints. They are still available. I'm pretty sure everyone's, everyone's shops are open. It's a virtual con. Welcome. Um, and so Paula was like, let's all get together for at least one thing where we're all here. So that's what's <laughs> happening. Boys get past this time, but next time. Y'all next time they're flying it. New boys. Better be here. <laughs> Neil's thinking about it. Also, <laughs> Jesse, if no, I'm, you... I'm holding my head literally up, like the body weight to the rest of the way. I just, I just wanted to make sure you were okay and that you felt like you could unmute yourself. <laughs> Neil, Neil, I'll just keep I'll keep you reminded. I'll just there are three of them enthusiastic about your enthusiasm. Yeah. And I'm bringing almost nothing, I'm just holding my head up. So yeah. <laughs> you know, you're giving us all that beautiful UK love. Bless you, thank you very much. And I shall, I shall say anything you wish me to with my ex. We've agreed that you're a business party. Feng Shui in the back, I can see you. It's not Feng Shui. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not that I'm here to take any credit, but admittedly, I put up a shoji screen when I first started streaming, and Neil was it like, was I gotta give you one of those. I'm stealing it, man. I'm stealing it. I'll tell you even funnier, my first voiceover booth, professional, was just the soji screen that I fucked all my stuck in the corner of a room. This is an upgrade. This is spacious. I really mean why I sound fucking great. We have kids like that. Well, in the closet, behind the closet. I also, I also have to just call Paula out really fast because we, I also got to check out her voiceover booth because she has a whole voiceover booth, and her voiceover booth is Paula sized. It's a Paula sized voiceover booth. I want to go in. I want you to go in. You have to go in. I have to go in. Really tall. Bye. Okay. Anyway, basically, there's a Paula-sized, um, wow, it's getting very loud in here, and my head is telling me that. Um, guys, can you all just be less loud? And then also, at some point, someone come tap me. <laughs> Sarah, come talk to people. You need to tap out. I want to be tapped out at some point. Okay.
But first, I want to look over at Neil, who's like really just here. I love it. And I just want to say. Let's do this. Let's wait. Jen's got a question there. Let's do a question. Okay. Yeah, no. Also, wait, but Neil, you start. You, you're the one second. Give me one second. All right, do it, do it. Okay, ready? Wait, Jen. I'll let Jen ask. She has a she's a much beautiful, more beautiful like moderator sort of ball. So. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. Is my favorite thing being kind of directed at Katie, but um, yes, everyone, I think. Biggest UK Mir fan here. I absolutely love Mir's outfit from the Resident Evil Village. It's to die for. My question is, if you could have anyone's wardrobe from Resident Evil Village, who would it be? From Simacy to Oh, I'm mean, stealing wardrobes. I'm like, lady. Do you see why I have Jen do it? <laughs> I'm a professional. Well, we all know Neil is definitely she nailed, wants lady. She, she nailed um, the one. <laughs> <laughs> Printed. Mia's, Mia's wardrobe is very um, grandma chic. <laughs> I have to admit, and I've started looking for cosplay for it because I know people have been asking. I have Crazy Mia from Seven all set, but eight's a little harder. I have the grandma sweater. The floral top is a little bit more difficult to nail because I realized it's not just floral, it has birds on it. It's birds and birds and floral. I don't know where Mia got her top. <laughs> But she got birds and floral. I gotta hit up some thrift stores soon. That's what I'm saying. If you she, find with both, I will be impressed. I've been looking. That's amazing. I've been looking. It's, it's Are you tickling like birds and flowers? I am. <laughs> but also, it only has three buttons. I'm very particular about my cosplay, so mm -hmm. it can't be a full button. Have you been cosplaying both three. of your other I've done Mia. I, I cosplayed Jill. You've had Jill. Yeah. yeah. But I've never cosplayed during a stream. We'll we'll talk about it. There's lots of people asking. Yeah, there are yeah. a ton of requests. Um, so I'm like, <laughs> we we we're, we're thinking it through. Maggie has done kind of a nod to Lady D. We did a whole photo shoot, guys. Go bug Maggie. We to did a photo shoot. We did a whole photo shoot before the game came out. Yes. It's amazing. It's an amazing photo shoot, and she's posted all of one picture from it because she was in her the soldiers. I wanted the soldiers. Danielle so, always causing problems. I will send you the link to Maggie. She was his mother's favorite. Me? I did a photo shoot with your favorite daughter, and you did, you left out the eldest. I mean, I'm really mother, 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 mother. But I've been Lady D does whatever Lady D wants. Clearly, <laughs> including eating a muffin. I'm eating a donut. A donut. A donut. <laughs> I might need one. Um, I'm five away somewhere. I, mean, I don't even know. I'm not the back. We can, we can, we can maybe look at maybe doing like a nod of some kind. Nods or are maybe fine. not going on. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not including the photo shoot. I'm including the nod. Yeah. Okay. Stem child. I do affects me. On the side. So I just like go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can you give me like the blood on the chin and like that? Yes. Yeah. I need to. I need to clarify, Becca. When I said we did a photo shoot, I was the photographer. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll let y'all cook a little bit. Okay. I'll let y'all. So everyone just back up, back up a little bit. It's a lot of loudness happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out for a second. The one thing I wanted to see in six minutes, we're gonna do another giveaway. And Neil Newbon, at any point, you are ready to go to bed. The answer is yes. I, I'm, I'm, I've gone past. I'm working. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Six I'm minutes. Like, like, you guys are on to us. So, so. I'm moving down. You're going down. I'm going up. Okay. Who's coming? I'm coming in. My booty is way too big for that tiny, tiny little lap. Come off here in a minute. Okay. Wait. Should we go? No, <laughs> you would think we'd been drinking when we're not. Okay. We need somebody up. We need somebody up here. Okay, over here, brother. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Come on in, Duke. Come on, Aaron. Yes. I have been waiting for. All right. Oh. <laughs> here. Hey, oh, lovely. It's <laughs> winter. I think. I think the reaction is more like this. Ready? Right? Please go. You know. We're we're gonna do this, guys. Hold on. You do it in this street. So it's very like it's my. Turn. Let me grab at this. <laughs> I, I think I nailed it. it. Just hit. Todd, let us know. Did I nail it? I, I feel. I don't know. <laughs> oh God. It was like he, he'll watch this. <laughs> doing bits. 
We're just doing comedy, but that's yeah. fine. We're entertaining ourselves, but apparently we're not entertaining the guys. Right. <laughs> so like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Are there any questions? Yeah, we got questions. questions. Yeah, what, what, what do you guys want to know? I think we got one down there. Um, okay, I'm gonna scroll. I'm gonna <laughs> scroll. Did, we do, did we already do this question? Oh, that's not the right to do. Color. So, can we scroll over here without view. screwing it up? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. What did it say? I don't know. I can't. Okay, so <laughs> you can. Do, I believe in you. <laughs> well, any favorite lines? Can you please? I can go take too. it over. <laughs> any favorite yeah, lines? So you're not any better than me. It's hard, right? It's hard, but it's pretty. Oh, oh. For Neil. Here we go. Neil, are you ready? This is yeah. your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you want to do this question? I don't know. <laughs> How did you react when you got the role of Heisenberg? What line oh, and scene? Oh. Sorry, say that one more time if you broke up. Okay. You How did you react when you got the role of Heisenberg? There's more. What line and scene are your absolute favorites? And could you please say a line from any scene from oh the Red yeah, Society? Sure. Yes. Um, well, obviously, understandably, I was thrilled to be asked to play Heisenberg. Um, it was great. I just thought it was just really amazing to have an opportunity to go back into the franchise and that universe. I was also surprised. Like, um, I mean, I'm a character actor anyway, but it was just like, it was really nice to have that kind of confidence given to you by Capcom, who I've worked with before, obviously, in Steam. Um, and it was also like exciting because I knew I was going to see my mocap family, which is you know, Jeff and Cole and Steve, but also meet people from the other parts of the franchise because obviously I knew Katie was going to be a part of it so, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I was really thrilled. I was blown away. Um, I don't really have a favourite line. It was a great character. I love my character and the scenes were fantastic. So it's one of those things that I don't, the whole experience was great. I didn't have a bad day. I don't have bad days on set. I really love working, workaholic. So for me, yeah, I don't have a favorite line, but there are some great juicy ones. So um, give, give us the juicy know, one. I, <laughs> huh? Give us the juicy one. I'll give you a juicy one. All right. Um, <laughs> I'll give you an end of Jeff, I guess. <laughs> I'll give you an end of Jeff. It is bone shaking, his song. I love yeah. it. I love it. I guess the, the last one that kind of entered into, which is the first scene we ever did. Which was with all the family was a fa is a favorite of mine because it was the first time I got to work with everybody and we all got to play out our little dynamics and get to kind of get a sense of everybody and as an actor but also as characters. I really I really got a kick out of that. It was great. But see what you really made of. From winter. You it's just like you know, just a nice introduction, man. It's just fun. I yeah. have a special uh, message being sent in from Todd Sorley. Oh. Um, Yay. Yay. He just wanted you to know he's here, guys. He's there. <laughs> So that's love from from Todd, from me. Love from Todd. Todd. Todd was a gentleman. He's a really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he texts. <laughs> Amazing. I really, I really respect Todd a lot. He's a great, he's a great guy. He's super fucking easy to work with. He gives it all, and he. I mean, I, I pounced on him gone about eight times in a row, and he didn't <laughs> complain once. Even when I did hit him quite hard, he was just, he was just a really lovely guy to work with, man. I really. Yeah, I had a great time with Todd, it was nice. But everybody else as well, of course. But Todd's carrying the show, man. You know, he's in everything, every other scene. So to be able to have a stamina to do that. Todd's the dude with the thing. <laughs> yeah, I actually... Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you yeah, he's a great guy. And it was just... Um, but also, like, it was just nice to have this great family and each of us have bring our own particular... Rhythms and our own turn of our own characters to life, but it was also nice to be. The reason I like performance caption so much and voiceover is that you don't get egos, not in the way that sometimes happens on TV and film. You know, you don't get that sort of baggage of that. People are just there as cross persons. So to be able to come and play with everybody in a volume like stage, but it's film at the same time, and this wild imagination. It's just like, I don't know, it's just a really perfect, beautiful experience. So yeah, I loved every second of it. I didn't have a favorite thing because it was all good. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of the best of all worlds. It's a little theater. It's a yeah. little, it's almost like playing as children because there's yeah. nothing yeah, there exactly. around you and, and you get to imagine and then you're playing with five or six other people all having this big imagination and yeah. playing as big as you can because you're playing these enormous characters that are, 
you know, the subtlety of TV or film. It's yeah. just, it's, you're told to go for it, go for it, which yeah. you're never told. It's usually, Sarah, tone it down. Yeah. <laughs> for the camera, for the camera, bring it, it in, it's bring it in. It's, a, yeah. it's also really nice that the, in the performance capture, there are no such things as small parts. I mean, there are such things as small parts anyway, but in PCAP and MoCAP, you know, you could have one person do the entire shoot playing all the smaller characters, but they work harder than anybody. Yeah. And I really, I really like them. I've done motion capture for 11 years now, and the guy started off by doing in-game mechanics and all the bits and pieces and world building and whatnot. And actually, half the time, they work harder than one person who comes up and does a line and just that's their thing, you know? So it's a real nice ensemble feeling in that way. True. There isn't like a distinction of, oh, that person has to be treated such a way. And it's, you know, it's like everybody's mucked in together with the crew as well, like this, you know, yeah. you escape, you're all together working to create this performance. And I, I really dig it. I think it's really yeah. humbling and just a good environment for creativity. I think it's freeing because so much of the time when I do on camera work, they're like, oh, we have to fix your hair and what hair is out of place and make sure you don't move your head too much yeah. because you might fall and, you know, hit the mark. And like, they're so like, it's all about physicality. And it's when you're acting, it's, you know, when you're doing PCAP, it's so freeing because you can actually immerse yourself into the world and not worry about like what you look like. It's all about mm -hmm. what you're crafting, what you're creating with your voice and your body. And it's, yeah. Yeah. to me, it's, it's more of a natural, um, a, a natural progression of organic uh, material that you're, they're coming up with. And so it's, it's yeah. kind of a freeing, beautiful playtime, like you said, it's kid time yeah. experience. Kid time. Not it's, also about... it's also interesting that, um, you know, for me, I always struggled uh, being able to get those character roles in TV and film because of the way I look like. Whereas it's the so second pretty. I stopped doing animation, it's just, <laughs> just too, pretty. Pretty. too pretty. Too pretty, Neil. You're too pretty. You're too pretty. You're pretty. You're too pretty. <laughs> My face off. <laughs> you know, and I'm not a six year old woman whose <laughs> vagina turns into bugs, but on yeah. motion capture, I can be. You can be anything. <laughs> we believe in you. We, we want you. <laughs> yes, you know thank I mean? you. But for, but for an actor, I think it's important because obviously, keeping within, you know, our, um, our appropriate ethnic casting and all that stuff is the only thing that is the boundary. But beyond that, you can play anything within your uh, ethnic casting, which is completely appropriate. You can play anything. I mean, the, the, the character actor can now play the hero. The, the person who's always cast that one role can now has a smallest board of roles available to them. I think it's fucking awesome. I think it's great. And especially now because also diversity is now, uh, inclusion is now being a big, a big thing. People are being given the roles that they should be able to play. Yes. I think it's really, yeah, it's an important, it's a new important part of the entertainment industry because it allows actors to be actors in a way that sometimes, you know, TV and film is, can be a little constraining in that way. I think it's the opposite in big fashion. I fully agree. He's coming in to fix something. Yeah, yeah. a question. I was going to read a question. Oh, no, read a question. Oh, oh actually, say. Just kidding. Oh, they fixed okay. because Jesse came back. That's it. Okay. Neil, like, oh, Neil, you're so great with physicality. And oh, well, thank you very much. Watching you do some lichen work, watching you do these huge physical moments were super inspiring and just wonderful to behold. So I felt super lucky no, to, be able to watch you do that. Um, awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank okay. you. There's a question for Paula and Andy. How is that? Oh, come, in. Yeah. come on in so I can read it for you too. I'm here. I'm here. What's that? Are they both here? Oh, oh, I'm here. here. Oh, is it our giveaway time? Nicole! Right? Pause on the question. Nicole? Hmm? The giveaway time? Oh. giveaway Jeff has this on, on point. I love it. He's like, thank you, Jeff. Do you guys want to do a giveaway? Let's, Let's do, do a it. giveaway. Because that's what I want to do. <laughs> I like that. We're going to do a giveaway. This is called I Am Done Talking Today. And my <laughs> Nicole is on top of things. I'm almost there. Why has it become very sensual right now? <laughs> Why are we giving away right now? <laughs> Chat pause, do to scroll, and I want to be able to see chat. We're, and we'll never get, just, get your hair. <laughs> um, I have two things to say. One, Susie, the spear hunter, says hello. Hi, Susie. Hi. That's one. Hey, Susie. Susie, we love you. Um, two, here's the second one. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway. Hey, Jen, are you ready to do a giveaway? Jen? I'm ready. All right, chat. If you haven't been here for the past two giveaways, this is how it's going to work. Number one, thank you for saying hi to Susie. Number one and a half, make sure you're following everyone's socials. Yay, that's the first thing. Um, and also, 
you know, follow Capcom while you're at it if you're not yeah. following them on the And the workhouse. Yes, and the workhouse. Follow the workhouse. Work yes, not spelled like it sounds. W E R K H O W S E. Yes. They are amazing. It's cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second. <clears throat> Second. Here we go. Um, you're gonna you're gonna type in a code the yeah, in. Thank you so much, Paula. <laughs> Oh, it's the best I'm one, too. Oh, I'm not about to read that one out. Um, I haven't done this yet. Here don't, we go. Don't read it out yet. But get ready. Becca is going to give you this word. <laughs> this, is, this is the code word. And you have to type it in uh, in the next minute. And the minute starts once Becca gives you the word and Jen is on it. OK, Becca. All one word. All one word. All one word, no spaces. You're going to spell it out for them after you say it, too. So that But I'm going to say it as two words. Yes. But it's one. It's one word, no all space. together, no spaces. Wait, what was it? Are you ready? Did you find out what it is? Are you ready? Man thing? M-A-N-T-H-I-N-G. All man -thing. one word, man thing. Put no, that in chat. Not, not to be confused with you stupid man thing. Definitely. Wow, thank you, thank you, coming in. I'm going to read out the first winner and then I'm going to leave again just for a second to keep hydrating and then I'll be back. Dang, keep doing it. How do we get the winner? I'm good. I'm just going to get just the water. I have a little too many rays. How do we get the winner? Oh, watch, watch this. No, no. See, see this right here? Jen Von Lee is our hero. Jen Von Lee! Yes. Woo! So um, that's it. Wait, so is that the first winner? Um, yes, the first winner. Okay. And we got, got it. it. We got the first okay. winner, guys. The first winner. The first winner is Louvine W. Great name, by the way. N W Louvine W. Would you please, if you would, my dearest, um, whisper, which is kind of direct message on Twitch, Jen Von Lee, um, because uh, Jen is going to be collecting the ways in which we are sending you these codes and give us some time, guys. Probably next 24, 48 hours. I'll next, get them all out next day or so. We'll we'll get them out to you. Um, so that is Louvine W. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the next. Like if you're on the share, I'm gonna in the next person has been drawn. So okay. Katie, you know, okay. uh, you want to announce it? Oh, am I doing? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. But we need. Yeah. Why do I keep getting the ones that I can't say for the life of me? So you can say. It. Yes. Do you want to say it? Sapping nuggets. Who's that? Epic nuggets. Sapping nuggets. Swear. Bella. Sapping nuggets. Seven nuggets. Okay, so you guys get the next one. Who wants to read? We got the third. I'll go. Do it. Do it, Andy. Ready? Do it. Elijah 15. Oh. 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 GER 15. I like your jacket. Side note. Three more. Three more. <laughs> One's coming up here. Okay. Ready? You want me to read yeah. that? <laughs> oh, that one I can say. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was like, that one I know. Speed of Creed. Speed of Creed. I was oh, thinking seven. Speed O Creed. Speed of Creed. O Creed. Seven. Seven. Zero, oh, seven. Is zero, seven. Zero, seven. Seven. Speed O Creed. Zero, seven. <laughs> Which makes me think you might be a youngin. <laughs> Born <laughs> after I was, you don't have a twist. was an adult. <laughs> after all of us. I would have maybe, We're maybe burst you. Yeah. We got one more, Paula. Okay. You're up. All right, DJ Furry 445. <laughs> I think it's Fury. Look, all right. DJ Fury. Fury. Sounds way more powerful Fury. than DJ Furry. <laughs> DJ Fury. I apologize for this. <laughs> He's like, yo, Paula, I'm DJ Fury. Get the name right. Fury is in. Oh, for five. I love everyone in the chat. Congratulations. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. So proud. Ren Bear. Oh, I miss Ren Bear. Man, I want to put on a dang corset. They do. It's not last year. I know. I don't Like a two It's like, you get, you know. 
Halloween. My Halloween boxes are in there. Costume costume costume. Costume. I really thought that. Costume Oh, what you want to miss? I miss it. Yeah, but attics for costumes? Attics, it's a, yeah, it's a costume. That's awesome. I need an attic. That's what happens when you rent. Oh my god. I, I actually, like, I have a house and have an attic. Yeah. Yeah. Apartment building. We might have an attic. We found the floor. We made the whole bigger. Oh, are you attic. serious? Yeah, we did a pull down staircase. Oh, that's nice. Da -da -da -da. Oh, somebody had a question here. Should I try to roll that down? Um, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's a scroller. Let's see. Uh, it's from Inflatable Dream. It's not scrolling. <laughs> okay, oh, question from Paul oh, Andy. Paul Andy has a question. What do we got? If you could create a DLC for Don and Angie, what would you like to see added or expanded for their backstory or overall characters? Signed mm -hmm. Inflatable Dream. Mm -hmm. You know what I would love to do? Mm -hmm. I would love to do Donna receiving Angie. Oh, like the kid, like getting in. Yeah, good. Oh, and then I would like cool. to see the moment that Angie comes to life, yeah. like when the bigger powers of some sort. Oh, because it's like the first point mm -hmm. that Donna gets to speak again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I. That's awesome. Really cool. Um, like that. weird game. Great question. Yeah, they want that. Great question. Inflatable dream. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to. I mean, basically, all of you like pillows right now, so oh, that's like yeah, this. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to have to call myself like four in the morning. You, you <laughs> do have an amazing Neo. He's been putting in all the effort, and I think you still have another signing, do you? Me? No, I'm done, man. You're done. No. You're done. Well, you'll, you'll see him on the. I haven't even started mine yet. <laughs> start tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. It'll be yeah, the thanks, really thanks, too. Thank you too. Paula for organizing this thing yeah, and uh, to Nicole as well for sort of, you know, technical shenanigans out. But I'm, I really miss all of you. I can't wait to see all of you and come back to LA. Um, much love to all of you. Same, Take same. it easy. Hey, Take it easy, man. See you, brother. Yeah, and then you. Tompkins has slept off too. Just say, yeah, bye. We will do. We will do. We'll say, bye. Bye. Good night, man. Yeah, good night. Thanks so much. Go. See you. Bye. Nice. See you. <laughs> we have another yeah, question. question. This is probably from Todd. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What was it like working with Todd <laughs> from the plant kid? Although, the plant kid, are you Todd? You're <laughs> be honest, you're Todd. What was it like working with Todd? Todd's wonderful. He was wonderful in seven. He's wonderful in eight. He's just a real easygoing guy. We have kids that are the same age, so it was pretty... Mm -hmm. Fun to commiserate slash live on them uh, <laughs> in our lack of sleep at the time because they were wee ones. And I used to do audition with him. Hey, you can audition. Wow. Yeah, He's an epic people. human. It's hard to not look in his eyes because he has lovely eyes. Lovely. They have to look in his chin because Ethan's shorter than Todd. They literally had to put sunglasses. So he would him. not look in his so eyes. So he wouldn't look into his beautiful not eyes. Look in his eyes. When we were talking to Ethan. And it was me away that all these adorable, gorgeous men fall. Look at all you guys. Yeah. Jeez, get cast as these things where they can make us look like anything. So, I mean, rather than give it a chance to the average they, guy, they all the same give it to the stars. They still yeah. the same thing, though. They're like, oh, well, we're so gorgeous. We <laughs> have trouble getting cast as character yeah. actors. So, yeah. I'm so good to do my, but I'm not limited by my looks now, he says. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, Todd. Uh, right? It's ridiculous, right? All the ladies will agree. <laughs> yeah, Todd was so sweet to me. When I, um, we had actually worked on a game before that was leaked super early on. Oh, no. And uh, it, so it didn't come to fruition. Oh, and it has at least. Uh, I think that's not, why they had us. They gave our first words to everybody. Yeah. To lock this one down. And he remembered me from the from the game, even though we only had worked a few days. And he he came right up to me. He's like, Becca, I know who you are. And he, I was like, Oh, oh that's 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 so does, yeah. he asked for a song. He's like, Hey, is she? Was she? And um, I don't even know any of your names. So that's what I'm getting. <laughs> But I thought it was so sweet because then he sat with me and then we had, we had lunch together and like he knew I was a newbie uh, to this crew and he took upon himself to make sure I felt warm and welcomed and part of the team, you know, and that's really important when you're brand new and like you're the odd man now and you're like, I don't really know anybody. Hi, I'm Becca. <laughs> and so I thought it was very, very, very cool of him. And when I hit him with a sight, he did not hate me after. And so I appreciate that. I mean, come on. It was, it was you know, you hit repeatedly. You go, and this, they kept changing the site because it was kind of wobbly. And one of the times I kind of nicked him. 
<laughs> but he was a great sport. He didn't cuss me out or yell at me. Much. Not much. Mm -hmm. If it would have, then Bela would have been like, but you know, I kept it, wheeled it in. Yeah. Oh, they're very upset they can't see Captain America. I believe that's you, Jack. I think your head is just in the very corner of their Oh, yeah. We screen. lost it a little bit. He was kind of no way. to move somewhere? He's falling asleep. He's that. like, there. <laughs> there we He's go. Like, you're, you're about to get the hair. It's, it's great. It's just, yeah. it's the nail left, so that everything about it. Ah, everything Nicole left. Nicole fix it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All changed. Yeah. Get up here, Andy. Get closer. You know what? I'm watching my dog over here. I'm just making oh. sure she doesn't like get up and leave because she's real fast. <laughs> she's out that door. She's out that door. Me. Neil, Neil said, uh, Neil said, oh, many times. Neil said to you, mm, bye. Mm, Tell Nicole, bye. bye. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just noticing a, a pattern here where whenever there seems to be a, a technical difficulty, mm -hmm. it seems to be my camera that has an issue. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think maybe we should address this prior to the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. The um, only person who has a camera problem. <laughs> You look pretty, though. Is there something you want to say to me? Here, we'll just... Oh! <laughs> what are you me now? I think she's already said it. <laughs> where, did you, where did you put me? Down there. You're very small at the bottom. Actually, you mean like that. Yeah, he's big. Oh, way over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bit of real estate now. <laughs> I got some room to stretch my shit out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Love it. Love oh, it. Okay. okay. For every. Yeah. For everyone, what was it like working with? Oh no, we read that one. Oh, just, okay, okay. Question for Jesse. What? You see it? What was it like? Okay. Yep. Yeah, what was it like switching from Lucas Baker to Maru? Is that it? Moreau? Maru? Moreau. 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 <laughs> From um, the 80s slasher. I mean, the two different, you know, it was, there was two different projects, and so there was a substantial time between the two of them. And uh, it was just a matter of, uh, you know, approaching each character differently, uh, starting from scratch, finding something that I related to within each of them, and then kind of building from there. Unfortunately, you know, I kind of... I was taught from a young age to stack like I don't know anything. So like when I start from there, I can usually go in a, bit of, in a further different direction um, without any kind of residual leftover uh, unless it's called for. So, you know, playing Moreau, it was just like, it, it was exciting though. I mean, it wasn't also lost on me that they were two extremely different characters in back-to-back -back games. And I'd be lying if like, there was a little vanity in there that was like, I get to like, you know, switch it up big time, throw a curve ball between the two of them. Um, so it's great. it's great to be able to show your range, you know, within the same franchise or within the same game. Nice. So to speak. Yeah. Very good. Great question. Was that, that a good answer? I like the one. Yeah. <laughs> the past. Nice. Okay, so now we have one for Jeff. How hard was it to move from Carlos to Chris? Mm -hmm. Greetings from Spain. Raul underscore GC11. Mm, um, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't find it. I think once I got over the idea of having to approach another role in the same universe, I didn't find it particularly difficult at all, just because they're, they're very different. They're very different people, just energetically, you know what I mean? They're written differently. They're, they feel different. Um, and I'm, I, I don't usually lead with the process for creating another character. For me, the voices usually last, so I'm not really approaching and thinking like I need to do something interesting or different with my voice. There's plenty of times where it's called for, and then plenty of times where I don't find it particularly necessary. I do think Chris lives in a slightly different place vocally than uh, than Carlos does, but you know, not much. But energetically, they they, sh they couldn't feel more different. Good answer. Thanks. I'm just here to like root everyone on. <laughs> You know, I like the best nice at the end. It's like rounds out the answer a lot. Yeah. Good job. You got to teach the cold end because she doesn't do that. <laughs> there's, no, there's no support. There's no support. <laughs> I'm just like, I like it. I just get excited for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right. No more, Let's see. more questions. More questions. Greetings. Uh, I'll be there in just a second. I'm looking for one. No worries. No worries. Duke, we're, we're Duke is the too. man. I'm reading some of the comments. Lot. Duke is the man with Duke. hearts and smiley faces. Yum, yum, nums. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, the Duke. Duke enjoys. Oh, it's so bad. We're going to the street. I'll start down here. More smiley faces for Duke. And your style is on point. I'm not sure who that's to, but somebody's style is on point. My laugh and smile drives you crazy. I hope it's in a good way. No, crazy. It's an awesome. It's a good thing. There are two very different ways to take that. <laughs> My laugh and smile make them crazy. Okay, I think we have another one. Love it. I'm so not good at scrolling this thing. Oh, oh, how do I scroll this thing down? Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, who is this too? That way. Nice. Okay. Oh, hi, everyone. Nope, that's the other oh. one. There we go. So, in addition to your main characters, who's this too? I don't, I think it's to everyone. Okay. So, in addition to your main characters, some of you doubled or tripled as other minor characters. Tell us about what it was like to be multiple people in the village. Um, that's definitely a Sarah question. I'm going to peace out on this one because Mia was Mia. <laughs> Sarah, well, we got all people. Sarah, get up in here. Uh, Sarah. I played a doll in addition to Bela, and so I get to do creepy voices. It was super fun. <laughs> Sarah? I also played a doll, and um, which was. I also also played a doll. Right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of, of you know i had a headache for the rest of the day but it was it was totally worth it and very fun and i almost threw up but i think i was the first one to go and record that so i'm sorry what the dolls oh i was the first one to go and record the dolls oh and then they were and like and they were like great that's that's it that's the piece so yes. then they made everyone else oh and and you're I, to blame and, and jeanette did one and we were both but like, i got to see jeanette record her rosanna looked it definitely didn't have anything to do with her my voice started <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no 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 not at all um, um playing with the dog it is heavenly and i also played the mom i played uh paula's mom which was very fun mm -hmm. it's the but it was fun to be able to, you know, in the last game, to be a villain and then to come in here and just play these supporting characters that were really well written and, uh, you know, using different voices and, and it was just a privilege and I love doing it. And I also love dogs. So if you have dogs and you follow me on Instagram, just like DM me pictures of your dogs or on Twitter. Love seeing them. It's important to me. We're not all just. Yes. That's all I want. Gadgets. Yeah. Good question. Okay. You were all so fantastic. Thank you, whoever said this. Are you guys listening? Yeah. You were all so fantastic. And thank you for becoming my new obsession. What advice would you give someone who wants to get into acting, even if it's just community theater stuff? Start auditioning. Coriander 13. Yeah. Yeah. I would say start playing around. I think it's great community theater. You mentioned even if it's just community theater, but honestly, like I started out in theater. I think a lot of the amazing actors start out in theater, whether it's high school or college or community or whatever you can get your hands on. You did too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great grounding to be able to work on ensembles, to be able to carry something straight through from beginning to end without stopping. And because the best thing lies. <laughs> The best thing about starting with if you just jump right into it you will very quickly learn what you don't know and then you can go from there and for everybody it's a little bit different the kind of process they want to take is a little bit different what speaks to them is different so i would say just jump in and you will figure out where to go next and it's going to feel uncomfortable yeah, but allow uncomfortable. yourself to sit in that and enjoy it and then try everything try improv try mm -hmm. shakespeare try you know you you may want to be like i want to be a film actor but you have to try everything because i didn't know i don't know if any, you guys are like i want to do motion capture voiceover it's just yeah. something that kind of comes lands in your lap and no, i ended up doing a lot of immersive theater like the experimental immersive yeah. theater and that's how i got into mocap yeah that's makes sense cool. and you just think zoo coolness I, true. <laughs> <laughs> look at you i'm gonna steal your jacket <laughs> 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 It's just like, it's 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 like
Okay. Hey guys, I just wanted to say you all are amazing and I enjoy seeing you all interact with us, the fans. My question for you all is, what is your favorite part in the game? Uh, oh, wait, sorry. What your favorite part in the game was that y'all voiced, mocap or whatever? Susan Glinters. Also, um, Becca, just a silly thing, only because I also suffer from the same thing. If you back your seat up just a little, I just sat when you left. No, 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 no. But if you do, you'll, you'll, you'll actually have like some color in your face. I, I used to be ghost Becca. <laughs> Um, but I'm just touching the touch because the lights are. That's where the seat was, so I just yeah, sat. You know, but then I get the John Rivers clear, clear. You know, like yeah. by like really close, I'm like all blown out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you're a dog. Yeah. Sorry, there was a question, and I completely. Uh, what was your favorite part of the game that you voiced or mocapped or whatever? Yeah. What was your favorite? Oh, that's really. Mm, mm. I mean, it was either Donna or Tundra, and I I quite enjoyed doing both for very different reasons. Um, Donna was such an exercise in stillness. I am not a very still person. <laughs> I, my career is mostly doing creature performance, so that was a, that was an excellent challenge for me to bring all of this energy and all of this emotional energy into stillness. Yeah, that could be a person. person. What? You got to be a I gotta be a human. I'm just, I actually think one of my favorites was um, Becca, that first. Um, I didn't even have lines, I just got to laugh in that scene. I guess there's a little bit like, oh, Rose, or something like that. But um, when you do your hook in the. Mm -hmm. The hooky thing, you know, that, that, that yeah. moment when you're like, I don't know. Exactly like that. I really liked that scene because it was our first time kind of all getting to just like jump into our, our Demetresque, yeah. you know, the first time we united. Yeah. And so we were all getting comfortable in our heels and our walks and I got to step off a box and laugh a lot. <laughs> Jeanette and I were just in the background just like laughing while really? we were, you I know. think the symmetry of hearing all of the voices giggle and then come to fruition. You know, with the insects off, flying, 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 and then all you hear laughter, 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 and then you reveal. I think that is that was definitely a fun moment. And yes, I, I love. I'm using the psych, okay? Like, how could that not be my favorite moment? <laughs> you know? I'm using a weapon of destruction. Of course, that's going to be my favorite. <laughs> yeah, and so I mean, it was definitely the best, and being able to, you know, say it's such an iconic line that people have turned into loving. You know, with mm, man blood, like it's just people have taken on to that so strongly, and so that's been such a blessing. Um, hitting Todd with the scythe, not my favorite moment, mm -hmm. but the takes that I didn't hit him yet. <laughs> How about y'all, Aaron? What was my favorite part? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> what should be? I'll take a seat. You know what? <laughs> When we're talking about favorite parts here, I should think that my favorite part was when I said the line, Lady Demetresque, beautiful even in death. That waistline, yes. Say that. Other than that, I hate it. <laughs> Lady Demetresque, I didn't see you there. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, would you need anything for the road ahead? No. <laughs> Maggie and Nicole, which I think would be quite fun. Yeah. Robzilla915 wants to see Nicole versus Maggie in a rock, paper, scissors. Done. Lay down the way. Lay down the way. Lay down the way. Lay down the way. Also on the ladder scissors. Oh, I do like the ladder. Oh, I thought you didn't like it. Oh, I like being taller than you. I want the ladder. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Scissors, shoot! Hey, boy! Three, 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 three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Hey, boy! Booyah! Always go. Always go. Always go. Always go. 
Mama knows best. 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 What is it? I'm going to sing Mama Z. Seven. What? I don't know. Seven, you best start. <laughs> I won. Let me have Mama this. Mama knows best. Listen to your Mama Z. I don't know how that works. Tangle. Tangle. I just want you to know that you're a you're a champion. <laughs> and you look amazing, just sitting there, kind of like you generally handsome in the corner. Oh my gosh, I'm generally. Oh, man. Um, guys, we have exactly a half an hour before we pull the last five names and then the big one, the big collector's edition. Um, so stay, stick around. That's a half an hour from now. I don't know how we're going to fill the time in the meantime. Um, More rock, paper, scissors. Lots. Lots of rock, paper, scissors. Uh, yeah, who wants to be bored with each other? Oh, Maggie. Oh. Yeah. Well, the problem is there's going to be paper stone with the rock. What you don't oh man. Oh my game. Mind games. Nope, you know what? <laughs> Jackets off. Oh, oh, take it off. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my god. god. I'm yelling timber. He's not. And what did you guys say? You guys said a whole thing. Rock that um, is a shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know rock paper scissors. You say rock paper scissors shoot. I didn't know about shoot. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I agree. This is a whole. Stop it, bear. Maybe. You don't know rock paper scissors. I know rock paper scissors, but I never said shoot at the end. We were always just like rock paper scissors. Got it. And then you got. No, but that was it. It was rock paper scissors. Yeah. Silence. Three, yeah. yeah. It's like You're one, like two, three. You're like who tried to convince me he didn't know what Nike was. What? Did I do this against all? Yeah. This is like a movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm making you cry. <laughs> all right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well, I, I, got I know my line. Mm -hmm. I know when to come in. Okay. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I thought because you mentioned paper and rock that you were going to do sit. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind, not deaf, but blind. No, 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 I'm blind. Oh, I was like, wow, you're. How did you know that we typed? That, that's impressive. Ready? Right. Anyway. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh, 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 oh. I'm I'm doing doing it. It. I'm boom, 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 boom. All right, ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> the champion, my friend. Oh, Chris Benton is so sweet. Oh my god, should we do Jeff, this? Jeff, are you ready? Yeah, take on Jeff. Jeff knows how to play. Yeah, take on Maggie. She's not been beat yet. Can you? Actually, hold on. I'm going to be nice to you. I'm going to be really nice. Wait, just wait for it. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Keep waiting. Keep, keep, keep oh, waiting. waiting. <laughs> Just waiting, waiting, waiting on Nick to fix the thingy. All right, now you're really big. Hold on. <laughs> Just go, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, Just give me a second. Okay. Kind of, Maggie, just keep looking for I love it. I love it so much. All right. Great. Hey, Jeff, if you could just look generally to your left as you do it. Just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. It's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. <laughs> I love it so much. Wait, I gotta be able to see your hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, all right. I don't know what to do with my hands. No, no, that's perfect. That's like a really good position for them. Okay, ready? Yeah. Right. Okay. Go right. team. You say, you say. Rock. Rock. <laughs> Shaper. Oh. Wait, no, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's a cadence to the rock paper scissors. Very traditional. Rock paper scissors shoot. Yep, we go on shoot. Now we're getting into cadences. Okay. It's all music. It's all music. Ready? Here we go. Rock paper no, scissors shoot. I'm delaying it. It's not saying it. It's just, we're just, as soon as I start, you can it's just right. Okay, we're right there. You're right there. There we go. 
Wait, you don't have to count it. You need to count it. You need to count it. Actually, I'm gonna count it. Ready? It's gonna go three, two, one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Wait, 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 real quick. Why do you mean three, two, one? When basically three, two, one. You guys, you guys need to get on the same beat. All right, here we go. Ready? Three. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Scissors champion. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm retiring undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm salty. Yeah. I'm really salty. It's been, it's been a hell of a career. <laughs> I mean, I really felt like you peaked at turning rock into boulder. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like that was a highlight of my career, and there's no reason not to go out on top. I would just like to state for the record that I had two wins over Jeff's just one win. That took the chance. But technically, technically, 
Your wins are now my wins. I drink your milk. Can we just absorb your wins? Just I'm absorb just um, we were playing rock, paper, scissors. Are you any good? Uh, no. It's called drainage. <laughs> Lies. Lies. Um, I also just want to do a, a quick little shout out, as I've seen so many people come by and chat. Um, hello to Indonesia and Mexico and the UK and, and just countries all over the world and US, hey? Um, it's so fun to see people from everywhere. We we really appreciate you tuning in at all hours of the night. I know. You're oh, crazy. Sleep. What's happening? Oh, we're just gonna give you nightmares. Mm -hmm. We try. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've added a word. You've added a word. Ah. 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 So that'll be the giveaway. Actually. Should we do it? Hey, giveaway? Jen. Can we make that the word before the giveaway word and make our last word the big word? Uh, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we'll announce that. Yeah, so that, the word you just picked will be our next word for the next five people. Yeah. Cool. This for the five and then. We're on the same page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're picking up one foot down. <laughs> Love it. Spain is in the house. Hey. Spain, Houston. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Hey, South Africa. 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 Wow. Wisconsin. Samoa, amazing. Taiwan, hello. Holy cow. Oh, Resident, Resident Evil is the thing that like Chat. unites the world. <laughs> amazing. Are you guys saying where you're from? Okay. <laughs> so why do you keep saying <laughs> spaces? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Canada. Your favorite country. South Africa. New Jersey's not a country. <laughs> there was a, a request above the uh, above the word as well. If you if you want to. Oh, oh wow. scroll. I'm gonna I'm gonna scrolly scroll. Oh gosh, wow, it really is hard. I know. Oh, gosh. Right. I know I'm not. In wrong. honor of Pride Month, can we get a? Sorry, it's so hard to see, but you can probably guess. There it is. Can we? Can we get a gay rights in y'all's perspective per respective characters' voices, please? I've already um, done this, did, but I'll do it again. Say, say gay rights? Is that what gay rights are? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Absolutely. At the same time, or either this? At the same time. Is that 23 gay rights? Just wait, just wait. Just wait, wait, wait. We haven't been traditionally fantastic with countdowns, so. <laughs> You're right. You know what? Individually, that's no. Fine. I think we should do it together. Let's just let's just really try to sync up. Let's make. Okay. Okay. Jeff, count us down. Do you want to count us down, Jeff? Mm. We'll be like the Avengers. Okay, right. I would love to. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Wait. 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 There you go. Happy. Right. We love you. Yeah. The language was really cool. I, I think like that we rocked that. Or did we molder it? Yeah. I drank that again. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Happy Pride. Yes. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Oh my god. The audio went out, it's unfortunately, when you all said it together. The audio oh, went like, out. <laughs> You were kidding me! Oh, that's a plot. <laughs> let's, let's just put it this way: there was so much love that we short circuited. Yeah. I know. I, I kind of love it even more, if I'm honest. Like, I just love the idea of all of us being so excited. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Should we mind it this time? Like sign language. C G. Wait, but wait. A B C D. You gotta, you gotta just whisper, it out. whisper it in your purse. G G, right? G. It's been a minute since I've finally reached. You want to whisper? Whisper? Okay. 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 Jeff, count us down. Three, two, one. Hey, <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> I think we tried. It did. It put again. I don't know. It's taking oh, off. I think we're well. breaking it with all the love. It's too much. So much love. All right. Well, we love you guys. Um, thank you all um, for all that love and chat. Oh my goodness, we <laughs> really tried. So with 15 minutes left, do you think we should do? Should we do our? Should we do our five? Yeah, that sounds good. Then we can get like everyone. Everyone, say goodbye. Exactly. Bye bye.
statements all at the same time. If I disappear all of a sudden, it's because my computer just overheated and shut down. Yes, I'm sorry. Is your space not completely temperate and cool, Jeff? Do you not have control over the temperature of your space? Hot Lanta? <laughs> Explain your I am, a, I am a master of my domain, Nicole. Everything is exactly as it should be. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Interesting choice. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make but Thank you. I do my best. You're pretty good. You got Moxie, kid. I like that. Oh. Alright, thanks. Um, you guys, let's do a giveaway. You ready? Mm -hmm. So you guys know the rules, but you know the rules by this time. Or if you're just tuning in at the middle of the night, for a lot of you, hi, welcome. Um, the rules are: step one, follow everyone on social media. Thank you so much for the love. Yes, the links, all the things are in the chat. Step two. Um, we're gonna give you a word. Oh, someone's coming in. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. In the time. Happy day. Happy day. We are traveling today. Today. from traveling mishaps. Oh my goodness. Like you do. Portrait. I love it. We're doing it. <laughs> He's going to go right there. That's perfectly. Oh, Yay. Just the yeah. time for yeah. everyone. Our final code giveaway for the night. Yeah, Jesse, we're going to code giveaway. Oh, Chat, the code oh. name is not Jesse, but I'm no, glad that we have a lot of Jesse and Travis. Um, <laughs> the code name, however, is another name. Jen, are you ready? So you know the rules, guys. Follow everybody in that list. Yep. Just post it. Mm -hmm. And then we're right in the chat this word to be entered in the spin I'm ready. drawing. You have 60 seconds to enter, and then Jen will press the magical buttons and it will draw randomly. There's a dog in your face. Oh my god, chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Really, was all up in there. The code word is. You just get home. You know what? <laughs> it's my fault. All right, fine. So that's on me. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The, co the code word is Miranda. M I R A N D A. Miranda. Only put it once in chat. Flood our chat with Miranda. This is for your chance to win. Look at all this! Of the digital the last of the digital giveaway. Yeah. And thank you, Capcom, for this, man. They yes. love you guys. If the one if the money's what the money's filling this out, you're gonna lose me. I'm gonna it's gonna drop. That's it, you're up. Awesome. We love you, Jeff. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Um, thank you. Thank you for hosting. Nicole, thank you for organizing. And Jen, thank you for moderating and everybody who's doing this. You guys are phenomenal. I couldn't say enough nice things, so thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for the love. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Just leave well, now. I have to fix your. <laughs> Doc also said Go. bye. Um, one thing, we'll have some winners here. So many dogs. Jeff, I already took you off. Just hang up. We love you. <laughs> You're not on the stream anymore. <laughs> I mean, we're on the computer. I can't even. Yeah, just, just, just hang up. Just get off the call. Sleepy. Go away. Or don't. Okay, perfect. Ah, oh, look, it's more us. <laughs> um, it can be us. Oh, wow. Well. It can be us. Oh, we have, we have a winner oh, or two. We're one not ready. One we're one not one ready. One. We are not ready. Oh, I am doing live. Oh, gosh. Oh, right. What's happening? Live technical areas. Oh, hey, Jesse. And it's not a Hello. Oh, no. so what is your cat? Oh, it's a cat. Oh. It's an actual oh. dog named Jeff, isn't it? Jeff's dog? back, you guys. He's back <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> You're going to catch Millie. You're going to catch Millie. Oh, you guys want to say hi? Do you miss me? Do you miss me? No. Alright, team. Okay, guys. Uh, first one. Is that the first one? Okay. That's the first one. Okay. I mean, it's all good. You're not going to have those up. Oh, no. Oh, it's a dog adventure. Alright, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm just going to watch the dogs all day. Alright, I got this. First winner is... What up, it's Jeff! <laughs> what? What, Jen? Jen? What? 
What's happening? Oh, it's cutting out. What if it's Jay? You won. It's Sorry. Okay. No, no, that's it. What if it's Jay? Make oh. sure you whisper yeah. Jen on. Sorry, we're going to celebrate that for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> what if it's Jay? There you go. Um, you're going to whisper Jen. And that's how you're going to get your code. Congratulations. Thank you so much for entering. And the second person is. Jerry Codge Place. 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 Yay. Congratulations, Jerry Codge Place. Jesse. Okay. We've got another. Next winner. Big word. <laughs> Jesse, do you want to announce one? Can you see the ch sure. Discord chat? Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Great. That was all you. Dun, 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 dun. Solid F98. Yeah. Solid F98. Solid F98. Yeah. Isn't it, is that a fireman? F98? Is that a little Anyway, it's been a little bit. I bet they were born in 1998. Uh, I'm realizing that the audio was bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The audio is rough just because of the environment that we're in. Um, the third winner was a big worm. I think one. Yeah, it was a big worm. worm one of two. Or big worm one. Of not one of one. One of. Not speaking. It was big worm one of two. So what? please make sure you. Uh, oh, oh. And then solid M nine eight. Whisper Jen. And then last but absolutely not least, right? Is that fine? Is this fine? And that was just five. Yeah, because that was three, four. Okay, five. Five. Last code, you guys. Ah, she's gonna pick a oh, Sorry, I'm just trying things over here. No, <laughs> okay, last code. Okay. This, uh, yeah, no. this is S M N W O. Whoa. Yes, absolutely. For all of the winners tonight, um, make sure that you whisper uh, Jen uh, so that she knows to give you your um, Cody McCode codes. Mm -hmm. We have all of the names written down so we know who won. And we'll get those to the next day. Yep. Within the next day. Within the next day or so. Um, and those will be available for you to download. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, with that, we have seven minutes technically. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, I think we could start Three. heading towards the I don't know whether they're going to get plush dolls. 
Lady D. A lady D. The Dutch doll. Can I get a doll to bop? That would be Yes. We need some funk of shit. USA. Put on top of So, obviously, this is our final big The rules are if you're not already, follow everyone on all the social medias. Just put that in the chat. Follow Capcom while you're at it. If you would, be so kind. Uh, and the work cups. And I mean, hey, throw in dominoes because that is the best. Dominoes has kept us fed. Yes. Thank you. So fed. Um, as has Becca with her amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Ever so slightly, this way you'll actually be in frame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm on the floor. Yeah. I feel good about it. I know, yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's really nice. This is so, look at, look at us. Look at us happy people. Yay! That's why we don't deny you. That's great. It's like, oh, you know what I do? Yeah, right here. Yeah, we've got right here. The safety of the screen between us. Yeah, we do. I don't know if this is right. It's very much a safety net. Huh? We miss you, Jesse. We miss you. We do. Yeah, come to LA. All right, so we've given you time to make sure you're following everyone. I better go, you know, hop over I'm checking to right now. Andy's Instagram account and just be like, dang, look at all those new people that follow Andy. Like, Andy. like I want to be able to just pop in, you know? Oh, yeah. and, and she's going to. She's going to pop one in. One of my you do need to follow is Streamly, at Streamly yes. Live. Because uh, they'll be going shipping this amazing Streamly will be video. shipping this amazing collector's edition. And obviously, a last final pitch. If you want signed prints and you don't win today and you still want something signed, we all have Streamly shops that are open so if you don't win today just know oh okay just know <laughs> just know that you can purchase um a signed print from i think literally any and all of us everyone here and we have lots of live um, signings still happening yep lots of live signings happening and that's streamly.com slash resident evil <laughs> all right so with that I'm gonna. I want us to all say the word at the same time, but it's gonna cut the mic out, and so I'll just repeat it. <laughs> but we're gonna have the feeling of having all said it at the same time. The word is. We all. Yeah. It. Uh -huh. Oh, got it. Got it. Can't read it. Oh yes. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's gonna cut out. Don't worry. So the people that can read lips um, will have an advantage. Oh, Jesse, just kind of say watermelon. I guess that we weren't that subtle with picking our final word. <laughs> I'm sure everyone I was like, all right, we're all going to say it together, and they're already like, village. <laughs> you would have heard if you were like, bagel. <laughs> <laughs> should we should we make Jen pick a winner? Oh, <laughs> 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 
felt it. So um, make sure you that yes, Jen will get her actual uh, or yes. his or her actual uh, address for Streamily to ship it to. Yep. So Sparkle Heart, make sure you whisper DM uh, Jen with your details so we can get shipped to you. Congratulations. Oh, you guys, thank you for joining us on this awesome Yeah. Uh, and you're human and not person. Uh, <laughs> with eyeballs. Uh, everyone here, <laughs> we love you so incredibly much. If you didn't win today, you could still come hang out with us on Streamily Signings all week yeah. long. Yes. Saying all sorts of things in silly character voices and continuing to act like total actors. Um, Fair. <laughs> You're right. Fair. 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 <laughs> um, with that, that is going to be it for us tonight. A huge, huge thank you to Jen Von Lee. Please give <laughs> some. In chat for Jen for for literally helping make Bye. all this happen, and then okay. also to the other mods in chat: Pivimto, Sunny Bauer, Data Wizard, uh, Susie the Spear Hunter. Susie, um, I'm sure I'm leaving someone out, but you know how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, we uh, will see. Uh, you yes, yes, Jen. Yes, of course. <laughs> Always. Let's just say a huge thank you to Nicole for organizing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Making the community amazing and just being an amazing self. <laughs> um, we will see you uh, throughout the week. Maggie, Becca, and I will specifically see you right back here tomorrow. We're <laughs> always new streaming at, uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and we have a cute app. Yeah. And you have I'm at noon tomorrow. Noon tomorrow. 3 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. So, lots happening tomorrow. With that, guys, you know what my favorite thing is to do? We're going to go raid a streamer who has very few people watching, uh, who's playing Resident Evil Village right now. So, I want you guys to make the most overwhelming raid until they finally realize that literally the cast of Village raided them. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna take me taller than chair. It's gonna take me just a couple seconds to just go snag someone. Um, so st stick around for a second while we just pick someone. This is wide angle is my favorite thing. All right, so we're gonna come here. We're gonna go Resident Evil Village precisely. We're gonna just peek around and see if we can find someone. Super. Thinking. I love it. All right, we need English. Hold on. Oh, so how tragic would it be if we couldn't speak to them? I know, New Jack. Yeah. Let's go look for someone in English. Um, 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 keep, keep holding. Keep holding. No one playing right now. No, no. <laughs> Tons of people are playing. It's just trying to make sure we're picking someone in English with like very few followers. Oh, nice. Let's so check. Too popular. Let's check. <laughs> Filter. Sometimes this takes me a second, guys. I'm so sorry. No, we can learn things. Which I'm not so excited about. I'm just happy to be in the company of Let me just check out the video. There's no camera. Oh, we want someone who's on camera. True, you're right. Um, it's all good. It's just all these little specifications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's have a camera. Let's check it out. Oh, my God. oh no, he's got uh, kind of. He, he's got he's got a lot of people watching, too. All right, all right, all right. He's already cool. Hang tight. Hang, 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 hang tight, guys. Just keep holding. It's going to be worth it, hopefully. Well, <laughs> this is always a risk. Either, either the person is like, oh, my God, amazing, or they're like, what? Hi, thanks for being here. Oh, wait. I just saw someone. Yeah. Saw her, too. Hold on. Uh, right. Oh, God. I'm so glad everyone here is helping me. You know how hard this is that I do this every stream. And I'm like, oh god, I'm picking someone. Um, where did she go? The one that we were just looking at. I, I saw her too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. There she is. Let's take, let's take a look. Make sure she's speaking in English. Uh, lover of life, coffee, video games. I love it. All right, we're doing it. I like coffee, okay. guys. We're doing it. Does nothing. Yep. Really? She's in English. All right, guys. We are rating this channel. She's got 16 people watching currently. Wait a few more. Give her um, more. We're going to just, I don't know, give her a couple more. Oh, we're right, about to get to our house. Yeah. 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 All right, team, join this raid, and then I will raid us over um, and end the stream. Big, big thank you to all of you. We love you so much. Join the raid.
Join the ring. Join the ring. Join the ring. Join the ring. Wait. In. 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 So much love, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.